This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Well, we just were, I was just giving Ryan Williams here a history uh, in, in it linguistics. It took all the energy out of the room. It took the energy out of my, my body. I was like, I'm bored with this story. I'm giving him a history lesson, and I just don't feel like going in. I looked over, it. and he was like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he jumps motorcycles and does backflips. Close. And then, this is the thing that I do. <laughs> Yeah, not well, motorcycles. Not motorcycles. Bikes, 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 <laughs> bikes. Well, but the thing is, like, you do this crazy shit with bikes, and, like, everything else must be a bore. And, by the way, it's funny how I oh, I pictured when I saw your stunt at first, when you did this crazy thing, I was like, that's a motorcycle. Oh, yeah, but yeah. But it's a bike. You thought that was a motorcycle? <laughs> yeah. It may as well be. <laughs> well, no, that's why you drive a But he's so, car. because how, look at how high he is. Like, it's crazy, dude. Yeah, you're yeah, not a motorcycle, though, right? You I know, know that. It's but in my mind, it was, right? a, it was a motorcycle. Wow. <laughs> All right. Maybe later. Maybe I'll get on the motorcycle after I you never, you push never a pedal. A, you never had a thing for bike, uh, motorcycle? No, nah, being around Travis Strana, I went to his house, and I did a backflip on a motorcycle, but that's just like God. a given when you go to his house. But I stick to the BMX. These guys on moto, like I can crash 30 times in one day. They can't, like if they crash once, they're like, oh, I'm out for six months. My legs are broke. Oh I broke God. my neck. <laughs> See you next week. Because, yeah. they're, because they're higher? What is it? Yeah, the it's power, it's yeah. to do with that. And then the motorcycle is so heavy that if it lands on you or it just, you you almost um, hold more velocity. Like it'll fling you into the ground. So like if you land on a motorcycle and it tips and it, it throws you with its weight to the ground, it's kind of like if a bigger person slammed you, it's going to hurt more. Is there, because of that risk, is there more money in motocross opposed to just regular bikes? Uh, I'd say, it's hard to say. It's it's the thing with motorbikes, I mean, Supercross, yeah. Supercross is huge. That's Lots of money in that. Yeah. Um, but obviously, there's in freestyle, there's not a lot of right like there is a fair bit of riders but not a lot because it's so expensive to get into like most guys are going to do supercross before they start like doing tricks which yeah. is more dangerous like the big air and all that stuff it's expensive start. right yeah. yeah so i'm sure there's big money in both but at the top of bmx is also good money so it depends and, and travis is a freak huh i heard oh yeah they, they say like hit him he was jumping on a plane they're doing his heart rate and just doesn't it just doesn't raise oh, up thing. Oh, yeah, he, I'd he's like, like an see, outlier. I'd like to see my heart rate when I'm riding. Obviously, certain things like when I do X Games this weekend, my heart rate will probably be raised, but probably not as much as maybe you think. And I don't know. It depends if I'm doing something new, and I'm like, I'm, it's it's in the realm of just like I've only done it in my mind, and now I'm going to try bring it to real life. That's when yeah. probably my heart rate will go up. But I think too at X Games, it's like a competition. So yeah. I assume you know, like that blood's flowing. Yeah. Like it's competition. What so is it? What rate. is everyday life like for you? In other words, are you a junkie? Or, so the juice? <laughs> no. In other words, hey man, I'm straight to the point. <laughs> I'm a junkie. Like if I'm not performing, like, yeah, yeah, like no, if I, I can't do stand up for a long time, I get f a little bit weird. Yeah. And and I like somebody said to oh, me, yeah. the guy used to run the comedy store, Tommy said, "You're one of those guys. If you don't perform, you die." You know, like yeah. I'm, that's a, that's dramatic, but in a way, I do. Like, mm -hmm. do you do you? <laughs> I always wonder though. You're so extreme with the shit you do. Is everything boring except for that? How does it work? Yeah, kind of. Because <laughs> I feel like every day, I, like, what you said, I always have to ride. Like if I don't ride for a week, I start to kind of feel a bit depressed almost because I like I don't get that that adrenaline rush. Dopamine. Yeah, endorphins. exactly. Yeah. So and then to, to, in saying what you said, like I go to a ro like on a roller coaster, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's pretty crazy. Like I get s still, I'm like, whoa, but I'm like, oh, I'm also strapped in and <laughs> probably not going to die. Safe, yeah. Even, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. I feel like when I run my bike, it's kind of like I'm on a roller coaster that I'm in control of, but I'm not strapped in. Right. So it, 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 it's good, and I feel comfortable doing it because I've been doing it for 20 years. But um, yeah, I don't know. Every day I go out there and I just I'm doing tricks that should get my should get me like really scared. And I do try to do things that scare me. Obviously, new tricks Dude, that I've never this, done before. Watch this insanity. You're so insane. <laughs> That's You're so wild. insane. Who? learns how to do that <laughs> it's so crazy so you, you, you said you've been doing 20 years yeah so you start how old are you i'm um, 30 so you started when you're 10 yeah, riding bikes yeah and when you got on there were you like this is it man yeah you know what i s actually started because i watched x games there was like this x games movie called ultimate x and i was like whoa this is crazy it was like travis Strana and all the guys at x games like just doing crazy stuff action sports so then I was like, what do I have in my garage? And all I had was rollerblades. And so then I was like, I think I started rollerblading when I was eight. So then I just grabbed these rollerblades, like not good rollerblades, rollerblades that you just go to the roller dome and you're like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you fall on your ass a hundred times. Rollerblades. Yeah, 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 like that. Yeah. So then I was just down the skate park, this just like little kid down the skate park. I was the only one rollerblading. That's <laughs> because cool. Because 
like not many people roll by to where around where I lived. Yeah. And then anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. For then yeah. four <laughs> 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 Yeah, sure. I think. No, I'm saying in America that was like a thing and then you, you, get, cool. you get bullied right quick. You can get bullied. But then I had rollerblades. <laughs> yeah, I had, like Casey, our producer, like Obviously not at your level, like high level rollerblader. I was at high level at eight, either, but yeah. But yeah, but it, but it, like there was a thing where like if it, like especially on yeah. Venice Beach, like if you're on rollerblades, we're yeah. like gay. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. it became cool. Yeah, if you're wearing yeah. glitter and hot shorts, which yeah. is what it usually goes with. But but it was the only thing you had. So then you had the rollerblades, and then you yeah. started. So learning. for four years I was rollerblading, but I was the only kid at the skate park on rollerblades. And then like the BMXs, and then the scooters, scooters kind of come came into the picture, and they were all doing like flips and like spins and. I was like, oh, this is how you're right. I'm just going to do that on my rollerblades, like flips and spins. And then I went to my first rollerblade contest and everyone was like grinding like 30 feet yeah. on, like, on these rails, just Damn. like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, I don't know how to grind. Yeah. I don't even know how to flip. Yeah, I'm trying start, to start, flip. Start, <laughs> I don't know how to flip, dude. Grind, I'm an idiot. Grind is like where you jump on a rail, like a handrail in the street yeah, and yeah. you like slide down like it. it. Like a skate. Oh, That's where you hit your balls. You see if guys, you stuff just, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not at his level, yeah. Oh. So then I was like, whoa, I'm like rollerblading way different to everyone else but then all my mates rode scooters so then i was like oh, i'm gonna try and ride a scooter sometimes but i didn't have my own and when i went to the skate park i didn't bring shoes because i was on my rollerblade so yeah. i'd borrow my mates shoes and scooter to just ride with them and then eventually i was like you know what i'm gonna get my own scooter and bring my own shoes and then at, <laughs> yes okay, so then, so then, and what, what point did you start entering like competitions what age um, because my my the reason I'm curious is like there's no route to yeah. this. It's because it's similar to like UFC where when you start, people are like, all right, man, good luck. Like subculture, yeah. like, like if yeah, it's a subculture, like kind of niche. So it's like if you're playing football or baseball, it's like all right, you play little league, mm. then you get good, you go to high school, a pipe then you get recruited, then you go to college or you get drafted, then you go to the pros. Yeah, with what you're doing with fighting, it's like all right, man, like good luck. You yeah, know? and I mean that's a, that's a it was always just a having fun to be honest like it was never like oh where am i going to take this like especially in scootering because that's scootering is what got me into like the limelight it's what got me into nitro circus originally that's how we found you, can you yeah. imagine, but i'm sorry but can you imagine if your kid was like i'm scootering you'd be like hey hey listen not this day and age <laughs> no i know like, i know I that, but most him, parents yeah, would be like down. you're not gonna fuck go anywhere what do you mean scootering yeah get the fuck inside and get you know but even but when guess I, well, what i know but it, now like if your kid says oh dad i'm into this it's hard to like hate on him mm. like, yeah like because back in the day like when i'd play video games my dad's like you're gonna be a loser get yeah. quit, get outside go right. play football sure. go play basketball and he'd be right 99 be right. times out of 100. now if i tell my kid hey man get out there you're gonna be a loser he's like hey bitch <laughs> you do you know ninjas whatever he makes 30 million a year you yeah. dumbass yeah. like all right keep playing yeah you know? but but it is still very rare to get to where you've gotten yeah it just and, is well and I'm, i mean i'm proud that like I, you can change someone's mind like I'm, I'm proud to be a person that has kind of shown a path that you can get into the limelight and you can make a living from it like i that's what i do for a living that's what bought me my houses is riding a scooter and when i first started riding scooter it was like just having fun and there was no like path oh yeah like this is what you have to do and especially then you can when make you it it's just yeah especially when especially i started when you but started. And it's awesome that people see that, but a lot goes into it still. Like, even though the path's there and you can see what path I took, you have to capitalize on opportunities that present themselves. And that's kind of where I got my success from was just, I got I got the opportunity to do Nitro Circus. Then the first show I landed like a double front flip on scooter, which had never been done before. It was my first show. Double no, front flip. That goes yeah. viral, yeah. Yeah, and then Nitro Circus is like, whoa, this kid's epic, like you're on. And then I kept doing the shows and then the shows they were even like, this guy, they, we get the scooter kids at the skate park. We want him out of our skate park. Let's send him down. Hopefully he crashes. And I was like, I don't care what you say. I'm on Nitro Circus. Let's go. And like, yeah. I just always had a positive attitude and just did my best. And then eventually it turned Turned into here's Ryan Williams, the one of the stars of Nitro Circus, scooter rider and BMX rider. So it like turned. Wait, so you went BMX and scooter at the same time? Yeah, yeah. So I well, I started really on scooter, but I rode BMX as well. I was kind of the kid that would just do anything that was fun. Yeah. So I didn't, I didn't never restricted myself, and that's kind of been my superpower. And I feel like in BMX is that I, I, I haven't restricted myself to like, oh, these are BMX tricks, these are scooter tricks. I was always just like what tricks would work on a Does BMX bike. wheels? Let's go. Yeah. It's an athletic fucking thing too. You're always on a bike. You're always on a scooter like this, doing backflips, doing front flips. But you, I always think that your mindset is you seem to be a very competitive person because you're also the first person to do that, throw the bike forward and mm. do a backflip. Nobody, that's like, 
nuts. It's like how, Tony Hawk's. Yeah. yeah, like how the fuck did you did you were like I want to wonder if this is possible. Is that how mm. it? But then like, when he does it, then the the young kids go, "That's possible." It's like course. the guy that broke whatever the first four minute mile. Exactly. Then thirty people. Yeah. Did, or Tony Hawk, like Tony Hawk was saying. He went home and he's because kids are into all his yeah. stuff now, like skateboarding and all that and bike ride and all that. And he said he went home there watching this trick and he walked in and was like, Oh, I was the first person to do that. They're like, shut up, dad. Yeah. And then he was like, No, seriously, <laughs> oh I was the first God. person to do that. And then he said he looked and the guy was doing it and then adding on to it. And he's like, Holy, that's where it's at yeah, now. Yeah. Like, because people see, like, that's possible and yeah. then they just take it to yes. another level. That's been my favorite thing, probably in action sports, is just kind of creating a trick that no one would think of and that's what i kind of try to do in scootering and then i try to do it in bmx so for an example like i do this trick on scooter it's called a nothing front scooter flip it's like where i throw the scooter it does a front flip while i just stand there and like watch it flip around and then i grab back on can we and see that please but out. as soon as i did it i did it i knew straight away i can do this on bmx because i was riding bmx at the same time i'm like I can do this on scooter, but I can do this on BMX and no one's ever done this before. I bet you I can do it. And then sure enough, the first time I got to ride the big ramp again at Nitro Circus, I did it. And now- but How many times, like, so you think of that idea, yep. you have a setup, I assume in your backyard and you I, start practicing it. Yeah. But then when I, when I did create that trick a lot, I mean, I've only had my compound for four years. So for the past, past four years, it's been like on overdrive. Like I think yeah. of a trick, go to, I'll go to sleep thinking of a trick, wake up in the morning, I can try it. But before that, it was like, I would just write down these tricks on my phone in my notes. This is what I got to try when I get to Nitro Circus. This is what I got to try when I get to Travis Pastrana's house because- I, that's, that was the only facility I had to do it. Damn. So anyway, I do this nothing front bike flip and this was like 10 years ago. And now f three or four years ago when they had the Olympics, the guy that won the gold medal, Logan Martin, he's an Australian. He did that trick Sick, in his run and won a gold medal. That's so cool. And then, what but, the fuck? Yeah. Man. And now like there's 50 people that can do it on BMX. And it it's just like, it's just yeah. crazy that 10 years ago, no one had even like thought to like they were like they just didn't try it because I did possible, it. Yeah, it wasn't so like so you think you're sitting around thinking about things to do. Oh, always, and that's what I always do because you see it. It's the proof is in the pudding. I did the first 540 flare on scooter, and then now that a thousand kids it's can common, do it, twelve yeah. year olds can do it, and it's just weird that if I just had my if I just had my mind ten years ago, like this, there's no difference. I feel like in my body, I feel like when I was well, let's say 10 years ago, yeah. When I was 20, there's no really difference to my physical ability. If I just had my mind 10 years ago and I knew these tricks were possible, I could have just like, imagine what you could have done if you could. Yeah. And then that's why I think like now I can just push action sports as a whole because whatever I do now, the younger generation's like, this is possible. And, so, and that's, and that's, what, and that's, that's what's a bummer with fighting too because it's like there's guys that get a certain age, they have so much experience and they, they're black belt and everything yeah. and they have all the experience but they're older. Oh, and so it goes away where yeah. if you could just figure out a way to download that data Preserve and put it into a 24 year old, yeah. Yeah. they're going to dominate the world. You have the best fighters of all yeah. time. Yeah. Let's take a little break. You What's and I are coffee this? freaks. I'm a coffee f f f f freak, dude, dude. Me too. And then trade coffee sent a big old, remember you're like, where are you going with that? It was a big oh, old bag. Oh, big of bag? You son of a bitch. Yeah. You took it home. I thought about that. I was like, where's he going with that big old colorful bag of coffee? Yeah. Where'd you get that? Delicious. I got from Trade Coffee. And listen, That's what it was. If you're a coffee connoisseur like me and Brian and you like tasty coffee at home, dude, they give you the greatest coffee ever. Small right? batches. This is the best small batch specialty roasters in the US. Yep. Trade curates a wide variety of coffees from the best small batch specialty roasters in the US of A. And they personalize it to what you like. I like a dark roast, hints of cocoa. So hints it's, of it's, it's roasted to your order and then it ships within 20, 48 oh, hours. Oh, it's tasty, dude. With wow. trade, you'll discover the best coffee, hot or iced. I prefer hot. Dark roast to decaf. Don't do decaf. Espressos to cold brew. Trade also makes a great gift. If you got that coffee love in your life, can't go wrong with better coffee. Give Trey to try and see how you can make a better coffee right from your crib. Did you ask for like chocolatey, you dark. know, that's what I, nuts dark. and chocolate. Nuts, that's what I like. Dark Keep nuts. your, keep your lemony floral oh. things out of my, Ethiopian, out of my cup. Oh, get out of here. Man. I hate that stuff. Yeah. It's all sour. I like, Come I on, like. lemonade? Yeah, bro. No, I like, I like a roast. I like it dark. There you go. Dark like the night. And right now, they're giving you guys 30% off your first order when you visit drinktrade.com slash fighter and subscribe. That's drinktrade.com slash fighter, 30% off your subscription Drink order. Trade? Drink trade? That's right. Okay. Drinktrade.com slash fighter. Yeah. So it's singing the, the is that way, you know, now singing. Uh, this, the, the guy, Juilliard's the, the most prestigious 
uh, performing arts school in the world. Tupac mm-hmm. went there. It's, it's in New York. Yeah, everybody. Tupac, Robin Williams, everybody went there. And it used to be that, you know, when you went there to sing, you had to be technically proficient to even get in. Mm-hmm. And the admissions dean was saying, literally every kid that shows up is singing on a level that 15 years ago, we would have been like, you're well, too good yeah. for us. They're all now so they're technically down, proficient yeah. that they don't know who to go with. They're mm. like, everybody's amazing. Everybody's fine. Just the Asian, yeah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, man, why do you got to make it about real? Yeah, it goes in New York. Man. When you practice this stuff, you practice into an airbag? Yeah, so at my house, like for the past four years, obviously, I just I just invested in myself. I spent like 100 grand or something to, uh, to build out. I spent a lot more money on the land, but that's just different. That's just an investment. But I spent a hundred thousand dollars on like airbags. This, this bag junk company make these blow up airbags. It, uh, I not only you can see it. Uh, I've clicked it, that one. Yeah, this is my probably one of my hardest tricks I've ever also oh. I've ever done oh. on at on this. So it's you can see it's like air, and then it's got like truck lining it over it. So still it's like hurts. Yeah, it's like this plastic resi. It does hurt, and you can break your it face. You can smash your teeth out. You can do whatever. Still, you can really hurt yourself. Damn, really Sometimes hard. it's worse because people come to my house and they think whoa like you must be able to do this easy and then they'll just not it'll be it'll be not good so <laughs> i'll tell you a story for two years <laughs> for two years i had this facility and i like learn all these tricks i'm like smashing out all these things and then we're, we're like nitro circus came to me they're like can we do a qualifying event for this massive nitro world games um competition which was huge and i was like yeah sure like bring everyone out i haven't had an ambulance i've never ca- had an ambulance called to to my land for two years i've had it and it's you know we go crazy still but they get there and it's two days and over two days there's four ambulances that have to come to my land it's just be- and it's just because like Dude. you see it and y- you feel like rushed whereas if you calculated yep. that's when you can kind of get through but before control. you had those airbags how did you practice in my mind in my mind and uh, then big it's co- like big cojones it's like big balls it's like a Take your pants off big dick Sorry. <laughs> yeah, she <knows. laughs> My fiance knows. Anyway, um, fiance cl- you, can, you can close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Big dick. It's Shop actually a running joke on Nitro too, because we kind of all know. You know, it's like the yeah. gym showers. Everyone oh, yeah. kind of knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So got, joke. Chris Haffy, shout out to Chris Haffy and me and him. We haven't <laughs> never gone s- tip to tip, but you guys What's are up, doing bro? well. You got to strap it to your leg. I understand. Otherwise, the air counterweight. Air I think that's what this like does the flips. That's how it yeah. stops you flip it. Counterweight. <laughs> but anyway, what I was going to say is you you can kind of like close your eyes and you can like write your name on a piece of paper, right? And you and you look. Oh, it's pretty much correct you know and so what i can do is i can close my eyes i can ride my bike in my head because i have a 20 year simulator that has just been updated like over and over over the so every, many reps every time i ride it's the the ai simulator is just updated so it gets better and better and it's been tested and it's failed and it's um it's confirmed how i thought so i'll run a trick through my mind say if i think of a new trick i'll run it through my mind and i can almost do it 90% of it in my head and I can say okay at this point 20% through the trick I'm going to probably see this this is where I'm going to see and then 80% of the tr- through the trick I'm going to see this and then when I do the trick in real life if I don't see what I thought I was going to see that's when I'm like okay eject mode save myself and then like I'm a professional crasher at the same time yeah, as being a fresh be. how do you, you have to what be. is the what is it because I did a I did a movie where I said, I'll do my own stunt. It was this yeah, movie, yeah. Uh, Ride Along, yeah. with uh, Kevin Hart. And uh, I don't know if you ever heard of him. He's an actor. So anyway, um, I'm playing a bad <laughs> you're, you're guy. You're the lead in that movie? <laughs> I, I, played a, I played the bad guy. You got to be cool, dude. No, I saw the movie. Yeah, I played one of the bad guys. You <laughs> on the poster? I played one of the bad guys, no, dude. It was me <laughs> Carry on, and, and John, Johnny care. Legs. Man, be cool. I, I All right, dude, don't I'm, piss at my parade. I'm not. I'm sorry. Fuck. Anyway, so I had to, sh- I had to get shot. Yeah. In the beginning, they think I die, but I end up being, you know, I'm okay. Because I was wearing a, br- but in the beginning, I get shot and I go flying back. Yeah. And I go, I got this. Mm. I'll do this. And the stuntman, like this, he goes, he's like, y- you do? Another actor, another fucking loser with a big ego. I go, yeah, yeah, I got it. And he's looking at me like, he can tell. He's like, this guy's an actor, not an athlete. He's like, what are you doing? Yeah. So, so Joker boy goes like, I get shot. What do I do? I go back and I brace myself with my hands. I almost oh, broke no. my wrist. And uh, I was like, ah, oh. and I'm, but I'm not, you know, I'm like, ah, oh, fuck, like that. Yeah. And he goes, hey, come here for a second. He goes, if you want to do this, you got to learn how to fall the right way. You got to fall this way. Yeah. And I didn't do it very well then either. So they got, it's you're not so, doing I had, it. so I fucked yeah. up, 
Yeah, and I and I they had to stop and get the stuntman because wasting time. time. Yeah, yeah, wasting time. So you learned how to do all that shit. Well, actually, you you've been you've, crashing since he was ten. Though. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I, so yeah. what do you do? How, what is the main thing? Keep your arms. What do you do? <laughs> no, man. I don't think there's like a really. You're not like oh, ball up. You know, like ejecto and like. You know, like an you know, like an you know, like an armadillo, like yeah. I'm in danger. Yeah. Kind of Use your back. Round I just, your... I just mean like, okay, I'm upside down. I got to tuck more to get to my f butt. You know, my feet. You know, like it's not like oh, I'm spinning. Okay, I'm uh, as I'm going through the air. I'm like, okay, this is too slow. I need to tuck in. Oh, this is too fast. I need to tuck out. Because you're in tune with it, and he has ten thousand hours. Yes. So yeah. you know exactly you when have, it's off. How aerial to awareness and to right. recalibrate and, and and know. I just, but, I just said this. On my, when I did my birthday post because I turned 30, I said, I've never had a surgery in my life. What? Knock on wood, brother. What? I know, I know. But I, I've said it a lot. For the past five years, I'm like, well, oh, there you uh, go. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? You're black buffalo everywhere. <laughs> you, want, you want nicotine? Um, but no, yeah, no surgeries. No surgeries. I've like, I smashed my teeth out, but then I got new ones, so it wasn't too bad. And then like, I've se I separated my shoulder. And then I've just had like fractures, but never, no surgeries. Wow. But when, so when you were, t I, I'm just curious how it works. So when you're 10, and then your parents are like, you're always on these fucking scooters and rollerblades. Yeah, yeah. And then th there was a competition. Like, how do you even find a competition? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, where's the scooter competition? First of all, hold on. Broken home? Broken home? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah. mean oh, my mom and dad aren't together? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Is no. that a broken home? That's what it takes. Yep. Well, divorce? Sure. You got to have no, some family not trauma. To, not ever. You, you didn't have a dad? No, I have a dad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have a dad, but they've ne never been I, together. I'm, it's oh. my, it's okay. my joke, but I'm serious. Like, comics, fighters... Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of special forces guys. Uh, B, I, my my would imagine BMX guys, stuntmen. I know you gotta have a little fucked up stuff that goes on when you're growing up. Maybe, or you're just a savage. Yeah, you know, yeah. or you're just addicted to the juice. I've actually thought about it, and I feel like maybe when you don't have your like, how about Brian's all molested? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> he's all what? He's no, all, he's what? like no, my junkie. What? Yeah, <laughs> broken home, <laughs> meth, <laughs> molested. He's all like, not, not at yet. all. Appropriate no, no, questions. Yeah, just you know, like, not just yet. met him, making not light yet. of just trauma. Yeah, right. You know, but listen, this is what we do. No, I don't want you to get into it <laughs> if it's like a thing. I'm just saying. I, I just but, no. but but you're you're growing up. Yeah, your family they're supportive of it. Yeah, my mom. So my mom. She was like a she's a she raced BMX and she was like second best in her state at racing oh, BMX. And then Your so mom, I like raced badass. I raced BMX as well before like the skate park. But then there was a skate park next door to the race course. So then I'd like kind of ride my bike over on the race the, the skate park, but. She'd be like, get your, get your race bike off the fucking skate park. Yeah. Because it's not built for so it. Your mom was, so your a, mom badass was a badass BMX. She's still a badass. My mom beat me up. She's <laughs> She does boxing. She always beats me up in the kitchen. I'm like, man, I'm chill. Oh, damn. But then I kick her in the leg. Yeah, she, yeah. she only boxes. So mom was a bad, is a badass. Yeah, yeah. Mom's a badass. Oh, so the, so, so then awesome. it wasn't like she was, she could, especially if she was at that level, she can see it like, all right, get her skills. Yeah. And, but um, we got to remember I'm like 12 years old. So it's not like, where is he going to go with this? Like, I was just like, you're I'm, having, I'm having so much fun. And I think maybe by the time I was 15 or 16, I was like sponsored and getting free trips to America and to how ride did my that scooter. Like, how, like yeah. my question, how did they see you on the scooters get sponsored at 16, 15, 16? Yeah, it's, it's like through you, like I made a YouTube video, you get like a sponsor me, you know, like a sponsor me tape. Like it's the same as kind of skateboarding. I didn't even have internet either when I was growing up. So I had to go to like my mate's house and I'd have all this footage. I'm like, yes, let's make this, like we'd just slam it all together and then add a random song from iTunes and Hell just yeah. like put it on YouTube. And then I guess like people saw that and I got uh, I got like some scooter parts for free. And then by the time Nitro Circus came around, I was 17 and I'd already been sponsored on scooter and got paid to like, not, not lots of money, but like decent for like a teenager. And I've done trips and I just had really good videos on YouTube. And Nitro Circus is like, hey, we already had the scooter rider um, on tour, but we want more because like people are starting to enjoy these scooter yeah. tricks. And uh, they were like, oh yeah, who they're in Australia. And they're like, what, who are the three best scooter riders in Australia that could do something on this ramp? And I was one, one of them. Your parents probably picked up very quickly that you were very focused and competitive though, right? Like yeah. when you have a kid like that, it's like, this kid's going to be fine. Because I feel like you'd be successful at pretty much anything you did. Just really persistent. I'm almost like crazy in a good way, like where it's like I try a trick 10 times. And if I try a, tr if I try a trick 10 times and I don't land it, I'm trying it 100 times, yeah, 500 times. It. Yeah, that's a kid yeah. who's going to be successful. Like like if I had a kid, you have a kid like that, you're like, this kid's going to find his way. Mm. Also, as a, you're, as a, you're just, as a parent, you're just you born care. a savage. You're just a savage. Yeah, like, but as a parent, you don't care as long as they're focused on something. Mm. Yeah, like, whatever it is. I don't give a hell what it is. Yeah. Whatever it is. As long as they're into it, dude, run with it. Hell yeah.
keep them out of trouble discipline and i still i love i love school and i still i did like finish school and got accepted into university but i just deferred which is like you just take the year off or something because you found your passion yeah and i was doing that's why you go to college because you're the best at what you do i don't want to be a civil engineer no i want to be i want to try this nitro sega stuff you go to college to find out what you want to do you already knew so it didn't make sense for kids like you but then have you ever had a regular job no, nah, I, I did like the paper route for maybe a week, but I didn't do it. My mom had to do it. Just the fastest paper route <laughs> ever. Yeah, just right. the fast, just <laughs> I love it, dude. No, yeah, and then I just I was like, nah, it's okay. And then when, just... when did you know that you were gonna be able to make a living doing this? Because early on, I'm sure it's not mm. much, and then eventually you're like, oh shit, I can actually. It yeah, was like the night. I think the Nitro Circus was kind of like where I was like, wow, I have enough money, so like I bought my own house when I was 21. My first house when I was 21. That's pretty. Wild. And I was just probably mainly Nitro Circus circus doing like s- nearly 70 shows a year and you know but is that money from nitro circus competition or is that from sponsors no nah, that's just from a show from doing a nitro circus show and they'll yeah they pay me per show and i'd do like 70 shows and it'd be a decent amount and then that's how like i just bought my own yeah bought my own 21. house at that and then yeah and then i had like sponsors obviously but i feel like nitro circus was definitely like the number one thing because i was traveling the world doing like we're doing like 20 show tours and just in in a month doing 20 shows and, and are, like, are they are they still doing it at that uh rate like not you, that you, level you know who owns nitro circus is dana mm. oh he does yeah oh i didn't know that. like when you see cowboy and nitro circus yeah. like he owns the you know that yeah no we're about to get back into it we got like a big oh. america tour coming up so that's always good and we're going like we're just doing indoor shows the indoor shows are like epic that's what we always used to do um but travis is on to us so it's yeah so when you travis, back in travis the races the electric okay cars yeah, and, and how, how um, and he's the goat of action sports. Yeah, how yeah. long will yeah. you like? Do you? How long is that? What kind of longevity? Does yeah, do you age mm. out? Yeah, I mean, I'm 30 years old, and so I probably I feel like I, I'm going to be competitive. I don't know. I'm going to be try to be as competitive as I can for for, for, for at least five more more years. Yeah. But I'm versing like at X Games this weekend. I'm versing like 21 year old kids that are like. They're, they're like keen as and you can see like some of them are so good at, at riding and they do the craziest tricks but then they come to the contest and sometimes like they stuff up but they're gonna get more and more experience and they're gonna be out to land up. these tr- yeah. crazy tricks every try and that, that that's gonna be hard to compete with but i just i do tricks that are really weird and out there and that's like what i try to aim for because it kind of has a wow factor you're always thinking of new shit yeah has a wow factor so that always keeps me like in the loop relevant always and then is it weird that those young kids like obviously you're there you're their tony hawk yeah like you're their gsp (laughs) and they're competing against you you know what i'm saying yeah yeah yeah. and you are right i mean you he's the guy yeah he's the guy yeah yeah, I've been still at certain events like the dirt event that I'm doing this year. I, I've only done, I only did it for the first time last year, and I got silver in it, and then I won like best trick. I've been usually I do the mega rant, which is like the huge ramp. That's my favorite. Yeah. yeah, it's like a seventy foot jump into a twenty eight foot quarter pipe. So just the quarter pipe's twenty eight foot, and then you air twenty foot out of it. Wow. But they don't do that anymore because it costs so much to set up. But that used when I did that event, it would I would go into that day like I could I'm like ready to die. That's what I felt like when. God. Cause I yeah Fuck. I've like I flipped this one time I back flipped into the roll in which is like seventy feet off the ground at least and then like did the rest of my run and I was like that day I remember I'm like I've never done a backflip drop in in my life on BMX but this is how I'm so gonna do this it. So this is fascinating to me because most of these kids are coming up watching guys like you and then mm. they copy it and they mm. add to it. And you could say the same thing about you, but you're doing innovative things that you're thinking about. So it's a very very rare and different thing, right? And so you're kind of an originator. You're an original thinker, like mm. an a-lateral thinker. Well, you just are, whether, you know, that's, I don't know if that's inherent. Mm. Do you remember when you were a kid, do you ever, do you remember f- doing that in other aspects? Or th- was that a surprise to you? Where you were like, yeah, oh, I'm coming question. up with shit like this. Because it's, it's wild. I'm sure it's instinctive and it's just the way your brain works. Mm. But it's so fucking unique. You know what I think it was? Uh, at the start, it was like I was just competitive with my friends. Like, oh, who's going to be able to do a 360 sp- over this spine? It was with my friend Harley. I remember this like vividly. And he did it. And then I tried. I, I did it for the rest of the afternoon because he did it. And then he did it before me. And I was like so mad. I was like, oh, I've got to do it too. And I tried it like 100 times. And I'm like, okay, this is what like I was into. But then I remember I did maybe my first world first. Like a trick that no one had ever done before. And it was like 
it blew up like it was like whoa everyone was like this is insane like i can't believe you did doing a trick that no one else has done even like even though i was scootering and it wasn't like a lot of people riding scooters but it was a fair bit and i was able to do a trick that no one else has Good done attention. it yeah. was like this new high that i felt and that's kind of what has inspired me to just always like go okay what hasn't been done what isn't just another like trick, like another bar spin, but what's like really how crazy? Can you like separate yourself. Yeah, yeah, like this bike flip. How can I jump off the bike? It does a front flip while I grab it. Like that's that just Have stands you seen out. You know the, the the thing that that he did most recently that people were talking about, where he does that, he pushes the bike forward and does the back flip. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, I follow. Yeah. yeah, that one took me over a thousand tries. What? Yeah, over it took me a month. What? It took me a month. It took me a over twenty four hours. Twenty four hours of compete, uh, um, constant tr attempting it. Seriously? Yeah. If you go to the middle one, the middle top one, I. But yeah. this, this I saw. Like, come on, dude. Come on, well, dude. The, the problem is, so there's so many movements, and you're so blind. So at the start, obviously, I don't see the bike. So. To do the bike flip initially, you have to throw it perfectly. If you throw it too far away, the bike's going to be too far away. If you throw it too slow, it's not going to spin around. If you throw it too fast, you're not going to get back onto it. And now I'm doing a backflip. So when I'm doing a backflip, it's changing the trajectory of the bike at the same time. So now I've got to counteract for my backflip to throw it into the bike. And then now I can't see. So I only know if it's going to work at the very end. Wow. I don't know until it's going to work. I don't know if it's going to work. Wheel. Yeah, and, the, and you also don't have a ton of time. No. But I, that's, I'm move. jumping that. That's a 13 foot ramp, and then that's a 13 foot takeoff, and then I'm jumping about 30 feet. So it's and you're, like, you're obviously in amazing shape, and you're obviously athletic. But mm. you did that thing at the UFC you were talking about. What yeah, the UFC PI. I? I went and did the like testing that they do on the UFC fighters, and um, yeah, Dana. Because I sh I went and saw Dana, and I showed him my newest trick, like the triple backflip 360 that we can't we just watched before, and he's like, "Come into my office." And I'm like, "All right." And he's like. We're going to fucking test you. <laughs> He's like, we might have the fucking super athlete here. I'm like, <laughs> I just got off the flight, like the plane, the, yes, the day before. This is UFC 300. Oh, yes. I just got off the plane. I'm jet lag. He's like, we're going to fucking test you. He's like, get the UFC PI on the phone. And he's like, all right, you're going to do like six hours of testing. And I'm like, Okay, I'm yeah, like, so he's like, yeah, we, we might have a fucking super athlete. I'm like, I fucking hope so because you <laughs> cheer me up. And I'm like, I'm like, yep, yeah, let's do it. Even though I'm like jet lagged and like come to watch UFC 300. And what they put you through? They did like, uh, uh, I don't know. They do, they do the the uh, brain testing and then they like so they, the they the v, yeah the oxygen the VO2 max yep. and I fucking spewed my guts up. <laughs> the one minute VO2 max, I'm like. You just got uh, off a plane. I'll you just yeah. got off a fucking plane. Yeah, no, but I'm like, I'm like what, yeah, yeah. Because they oh, yeah. say that you got to <clears throat> put it all out on the fucking. Max, and if you tell me that, I'm fucking kill myself yeah. doing it. Like, I'm. That's one thing. My mind, I was like, I'm like, yeah, pretend there's a Your fucking. Your fiance is like, mm -hmm. I'm like, pretend there's a bear behind me and yeah. I'm about to die and I'm getting chased on this cross trainer bike. And I'm well, like, that's the worst. That aerodyne bike? Yeah, yeah. And oh, that's what they set him up with, with the oxen. And then I've got How long do you do on that? What, it was one minute, but like you're warming up, but one minute max. max they, worse, they get you max. to do your max for six seconds so they know your max. And then there's this, the Russian scientist guy's like, go on, Ryan. I'm like, what is going on? I'm like, come on. And I'm 30, I'm four, no, 30. I thought I'm halfway. He's like, you're half, no, you're like, you're, you're nearly done. And I'm like, yeah, and I go extra hard. And he's like, 20 seconds left. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> 20 seconds, so long. It's so and I'm long. like, I'm like going as hard as I can. I'm like going this fast. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway i do that and i actually did really well i was like in the the above average on the vo2 but the one thing i was really good at was when the vr was on my face like tracking my eyes my eyes is like super smooth yeah like so when i'm moving around uh, my eyes just are used to tracking to be for you to track the bike yeah. and know where you're at huh. yeah that's but cool. yeah but my like my other things not so much like my like my push-up strength like you do it on the pressure plates like that's nothing cr too crazy well you don't I, do it I mean, my mind i feel like my strength is definitely my mind and my persistence 100%. like you i will just not give up if i do that that trick took I'm, me a thousand I'm tries and i'm like i just wouldn't give up and i always believe that the next try is it i don't give a i don't give a crap how bad my last try was You're i go get the it. fucking next one is it and yeah. i've always had that since yeah. i was in school at the skate it's just carried on like at this it's the same when i was on my scooter at the skate park when i was 14 years old. I'm like, the next tries in. And then that you was when born I was- with that. 
next you're born with that. Yeah. You can't teach it. Yeah. There's nothing you can do. Not do you, do you, when you watch surfing. That, you, what were you, you gonna say? I said I think that I I, I grew into it more because I feel like at the skate park there was a point where I got sponsored and I kind of like got a little bit boycotted from my some of my mates. They were like one of, one in particular was like, oh like if you hang out with him you're sucking up his ass because I was like the only you one the that guy. got sponsored. So then in for for like one year, n- nearly one year, I was just like riding in my own like with myself at the skate park in my own mind with my ipod in so i like Set i just right. learned to i just learned to like challenge myself in my my mind and now i have this i have this crazy confidence in my mind that i can like tap into where it's like i can just lock into that and i can i just tell myself like i have yeah, confidence in myself and that's what makes me go out there and do that because people yeah. always ask like you must be so scared i'm like yeah i am scared like it's a natural thing to be scared it should of it's course. good for you yeah but sign of intelligence i can lock into like the confidence i've put in the reps i know i can do this and that's just like yeah. what i go in how i go about it do you get fomo when you watch like uh big wave riders and stuff is that something you ever try Oh, I don't know. Like surfing, it's, uh, the thing about my sport that I appreciate about surfing is that a, a wave is always different. Yeah. You know, it's always yeah, different. Yeah. You never know what to the expect. Yeah. So I couldn't imagine like going down my, I couldn't imagine dropping in at a skate park blind and then someone just like takes the blindfold off and now I got to oh, do tricks. It is. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. Get yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So uh, the thing about my, uh, what I have is like my setup, I have it in my brain locked in. Like I, I have like a, a, a simulation of that ramp perfectly sculpted in my mind and i know how much airtime i get i know what it feels like i know the pressure i feel in my hands and my yep. feet when i'm taking off the ramp so you're always visualizing 100 percent. i have to yeah but let's take a little break let's yeah. stop talking some x games let's start talking about greatness wins well i wear the i was wearing all weekend i was wearing great was greatness wins sweatpants I love and the my sweats, wife I love the said shorts. my wife said your your booty looks scrumptious and gave me a little goose. It's always popping, man. And I'm an old man, dude. Dude, listen, Derek Jeter's part of it. So if you know Derek Jeter, who's pure greatness, is rocking this stuff and, and style came up with this. And handsome. What? And unlike other athletic brands, they prioritize they prioritize fashion over performance. But it's both, man. Greatness wins combines high performance and function with a modern style and fit. Consistent fit and exceptional oh, I love feel. It, dude. It's made from premium, long-lasting fabrics. It wicks away that nasty. I work out in them all the time. They're never stinky. They're great. I love them. So whether you're pumping iron or you're out for the morning jog or hitting the links, Greatness Wins provides the support and comfort you deserve, Brian. Well, dude, I, I will say this. I got a package in the mail, and I you know it's good clothing when you pack it for your trip i went away and i packed it for my trip and that's so when you know it's good that's if you're you packing know. it because i got a lot of clothes i got a lot it, of clothes dude. and i wanted to wear my cool three-quarter zip Heck and my yeah. sweats so if you're ready to upgrade your athletic wear at greatnesswins.com right now you use the code fighter you get 25 percent off your first order that's greatness wins where demands of sport meet the science of fit check them out now that's greatnesswins.com code fighter that's how I, that's the best way to practice. I can do it anywhere I want. I can yeah. do it on the plane over here. I practice. And then I just transfer that. So X Games this weekend, it'll be like, uh, it'll be new jumps. But as soon as I jump once through that, that, that line or jump like a few times through that line, I now have downloaded that. You've downloaded the whole And I course. know the pressure. I know the time in the air. I know the calculations. I, I go, okay, this is this amount of time in the air. If I need to do two flips, it needs to be like this fast, you know? That's cool. That's so dope. It's like you're literally your brain's a computer. How's your fiance deal with it? Does she <laughs> does she get nervous? Do you get nervous? No, not at all. I don't feel like I get nervous about it. He's too good. It's the same as my mom. Yeah. It's the same as my mom. They you start off nervous, right? But then you watch me and how like I calculate so much in my brain. I don't go out there and I'm like, do my hardest trick straight away. You know, it's like it's like do you're smart. Do this it. trick. Do this. Ba- do one backflip. Do one backflip five times. It's not the ramp's not going anywhere. I always try to tell these people, like they come to my house, especially the ramp's not going every anywhere. Start small. Jump it ten times before you even do a trick over it. Yeah, of course. Do it, do one backflip twenty times before you try to do two. It's always like that. No matter how like many that. you get to, like get into triple backflip, triple backflip three sixty. Like I'll do a triple backflip three times or like a few times you know before i go and do a triple back of 360 it's just be calculated and then, and then with a the olympics where's, where's that where's that <laughs> yeah, crazy where's it at in the olympics 
So right, so the Olympics BMX has been in the Olympics for one one time. So, but it's like park. So there's so many different ways to ride. I always like to say, like Logan Martin, he's a park rider. He does the Olympics, and it's like dancing. Who's the best dancer? I don't know. This guy's so good at break dancing. He can't be. He can't ballerina. He can't be a ballerina. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's so many different ways to dance. Same as BMX. It's like I'm a break dancer, and the guys at the Olympics are like. Ballerina, so, so but there's, in so a there, good way. So there's yeah. nothing for you in the Olympics. No, right I, I mean I, I commentate in the Olympics, so I have the knowledge of the tricks and I have the knowledge of all the riders. But I would have to dedicate f- four years of my life to that, just to that. Which That's is what, a shame. So why don't they open it up to well, more dances? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. I think that they will in the future, but it's just like this. It's like anything. They try something out, and, it and it's go. It goes. It's going really well, and uh, they've got it again this year. And like it's bigger. There's more athletes going there, and uh, it's a huge event. And it's hard to. It's a hard thing because there has to be like so many um, countries, right? That yeah, participate. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah but not only that, that there's so much that goes into it. Like you have to have a world championship circuit to get to the Olympics. Like you can't just be like, oh, this guy will go, yeah, mate, that guy, I reckon this guy's pretty good. No, it's like- I wonder like when when the music stops, everybody has to stop eventually when you're like 40 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. What do you think you'll get into? Do you ever think about that? Is there there, there another thing you can get into at that age? Off-road racing. Yeah, maybe, yeah, right? Uh, something to keep the adrenaline. Yeah, know? like maybe, maybe like with a motorized car or something like that, right? I did the com- I did commentating, so that was I've done that a few times, so I'm really into that because so I if just- you're commentating at the Olympics, you're pretty fucking good. Mm, yeah, no, I'd be, I'd oh, be yeah. so down with that. I've been commentating pretty big events, so that'd be good. And then like just training, like people can come to my facility. I don't know. I've not really thought about it because I'm. Hammering. He's in it. You'll, I'm be, hammering. you'll be fine. He's competing next. Yeah, it's you like got, you got a lot it's more like riding. Asking, yeah. Like the UFC champion, what are you gonna do? Uh, it's like, yeah, yeah, like thinking what? about uh, like uh, yeah, like yeah, you got a lot just, more. You got a lot let's more. Just to keep do. going. No, you it's like the week more. of the the title fight. You're like, hey man, after the after <laughs> yeah. this, <you're> like, what <laughs> the fuck? I'm I not thinking about that. Come man. It is good to think about it though. It's no, but maybe it's not good to think about it. I'm just thinking that it's such an extreme way to live, and it's you're not gonna win though. Yeah. If he if he had a perfect answer, what he's gonna do after this? That's right. I would. You got one foot in. Whoever one foot he's out. going against this weekend, I'm betting on those guys. That's right. <laughs> if, he, if he had a whole plan, I was like, man, I, we'll see how this weekend <laughs> yeah. goes. But I got this. I grow like, my own vegetables. I'm like, oh, you're out. That's right. He's not, he's not all Every in. Every single time you see that, that's so true. When fighters start talking about oh, like one foot in, like, fuck. oh, man, here's my whatever business. Nope. I'm like, oh, he's screwed. Because the guy he's fighting oh, my God. doesn't give a fuck about anything you said that but before. Saturday. You said that. Oh, yeah. You'll hear guys like, well, they'll start doing movies. Or they'll start yeah. like, hey, wait a that's minute. That's when I knew I was done. Yeah. We're doing this podcast, and I was like, yeah, and we were going to do live ones, yep. and it conflicted with a fight, and I was like, ah, oh, man, I kind of want to do the live one. <gasps> uh, oh, I, better, no. I better say no to I'm commentating I'm fighting Olympics. LeVar Johnson. <laughs> do you know when I remember this? When you He's said- a biker yeah, gang. You, I remember when you said, because I was, I, I, we were, cl- good, we became really good friends, mm. and I was so worried about him, because I liked him so much. Yeah, yeah. But he was so funny, and he was, and I was like, what's he going to do? Like, fighting, like, you know, what, what's he going to do after? And I had, yeah. you know, I was a comic. And I remember you said, we started doing a podcast and it started kind of getting traction, which mm. was like, what is this? Nobody knew what a podcast was. We were like, and then you said, after my fight, man, I'm just going to go fight her in a kid. And I was like, oh, this motherfucker. Out. <laughs> you're thinking already after the fight that you're going to promote this podcast I'm and out, you were yeah. out. I wore a Fire and Kid t-shirt on the walk. Yeah. I turned down $20,000 and wore a Fire, our Abbott Kenny Fight Club t-shirt. That's right. Instead That's of a sponsor. That's right. Because I bet on us. That's yeah. right. And that's what, that, yeah, and you were like... You, but then, you know, and you can't do both. Like, you yeah, got to be all in on fighting. that or all in on this. But you're not going to do both. Yeah. Mm. Like, if you, if you had that's a what, solid answer, I'd be like, oh, man. Well, because the, 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 it's too dire. Like, you can't... You, you're, it's too competitive. Yeah, it, you, your head's got to be all in anyway. Yeah. It's too you competitive. You can't make a mistake. It's, it's too like, tough. I, I invested, like, a lot, like... Because people... I get this now. I, I've gotten shit my whole life from like when I started riding a scooter. It was like this guy rides a scooter because it's fucking easy. And then I'm like, like, like whatever. And then okay, I'll do these tricks on a bike. And then I do all these tricks on the bike. And then people are like, he only does that because he's on Nitro Circus and like it's to a resi. It's easy. Like he couldn't compete in the X Games. And then I got in the X Games and I won gold medal. And they're like, <laughs> oh, he's just doing fucking scooter tricks. Like this is so gay. Like why does he do a stylish <laughs> trick? And I'm like, fuck, man. Like I like doing the stylish tricks, but like at home and when I'm Chilling. So I, I've just you know, always, always that guy. I've right? always learned that, and that's why I always try to tell They're everyone. Real there's always real gonna be the haters, and it's just like just believe in yourself and just invest in yourself. And that's what I did. I bought these. I spent 
out the ass on these bag jumps and these resis and this all this compound and four years later it's just I've, uh, it's multiplied my it's the best investment yeah, best investment we, we, we always, we always talk yourself. about how like you, you'll get hate if you're in the public eye and when mm -hmm. it's, you're gonna get weird shit yeah and then like you'll be friends with people that are like yourself that are just at the top of the game mm. right like are just crushing it could be people that you're like, who are just killing it real intimate and then you look at their hate and you're like wait first of all what is to hate How it's, but it's just the way the world works like anybody trying anything really hard like mm. it triggers people that n n didn't take that risk so that it's easier to tear down than to create yeah so like what you're doing there's probably some guy that wanted to do it but shit just happened it mm. didn't work out and they see you living your dream and it's well it's, look at elon musk so upset. elon musk they just never gonna work tesla then none of this is gonna work they yeah. always 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 telling me he's, he's full of shit always telling me he sucks. yeah and you know just the world like if elon got on there was like hey should i build an electric car business vote yes or no it's gonna be 90 percent no yeah, exactly if you got on there at 12 if it's today i keep riding scooter you, <laughs> hey should, should i try and make a living riding a scooter <laughs> let me know how it goes if i was it. your dad i would have been like, right. you're not doing this but so. uh, even even a five-star recruit if he gets on social media right now and goes hey um i'm thinking about going to alabama i think i should put all my eggs in this basket and try to get to the nfl the amount of no is gonna way way out want to be yeses. Safer, yeah. it's just, but it's just the way people are oh, yeah they play it safe yes yeah it's just they, like no man go get a nine to five it's crazy like and if i listen to any any one of that the people that told me that scootering wouldn't do anything for me then i wouldn't be in this position here today like i would be doing something else i don't even know what i'd be doing and but that's why just, you, you are who you are because yeah. a lot of guys do listen and go ah he's right man i'm just gonna work for my dad or whatever it is yeah and then there's the outliers like get the fuck out of here and you're fucking <laughs> doing flips like a psycho you know yeah a thousand think about how many times it is like that's a thousand times yeah my ass is real sore actually because i'd fall i'd fall all right like i'd fall on my ass but i fell on my ass so much that my ass cheeks rubbed together that like i had <laughs> rash from my ass cheeks just rubbing just together chafing. Stop, oh, it was not yeah it was not the vibe but yeah, then i landed and have then some you, man let me see what's going on. <laughs> yeah i'll show you yeah. but uh but then yeah you, you see it, i land the trick and then it's like worth it and i always tell myself like when I'm doing something and it's 500 tries in, I'm like, if you, you're you going to land the next one, it's going to be worth it. Like it makes it worth the next, the land makes all the journey worth it. Yeah. Man. Yeah. It's such a solitary thing too, right? Like it's like, it's not a team thing. It's just that you're yeah. kind of like, it's, you're having this communion with yourself all the time. Yeah. Talking to yourself is the, is the X games or is the BMX community, are they mm. kind of all one man? Like, no, I'm believe so it or not, pretty cool I believe it or not, like obviously it's an individual sport. It's but it's like it, we know the consequences, so it's not like it's you a can't. Fraternity. Yeah, you They're can't go out there and be yeah, like, if fraternity. you you know, if this guy, if you go, if you go out there and you're like, I'm gonna do my best. I hope he doesn't do his best. It's like if he crashes he could really hurt himself and like we're friends we're You're great taking friends risks yeah so yeah. we're on the top of the the roll-in we're like get it dude like have fun get this and, stuff and that's because there's a small percentage of the population that realize what you're risking what it takes to even get to that level so yeah. whether you knock that trick out or not or nail it mm. they know what it takes it's like yeah. ufc even if you're fighting another guy after there's like that respect because you yeah. know the camp the amount of balls it took to even walk into the cage so no matter what weight class it is, there's like this fraternity where yeah. like, I get it, man. There's a huge yeah. mutual respect. There's an understanding. Yeah. Yeah. I think also when a guy gets starched right away, like like Whitaker did to that guy, it's that people are just like, it's like everybody's been there in one in one time or not. No, I don't think it's that. <laughs> no. No, they're not like, man, we've all been. Yeah. <laughs> not so much I'll let that. the athletes talk. <laughs> uh, so no, that. no, no. It's They can understand a loss for sure. The loss, they're like, yeah, shit happens. Just There's that. that. that well, you see these guys sometimes. A guy will spend all the time in training camp, come out and get caught. Something happens. Boom. Shit happens. My out. first X Games, the first time I ever got invited, I broke my spine in practice. And then, but then the X ray didn't work properly in this football stadium, <laughs> so they couldn't see the fracture in my spine. So they let me ride still. <laughs> <laughs> and then I crashed in my run. How was that pain? Yeah, it sucked. I, I felt like I shit my pants because I oh. fell. This is on the 28 foot jump. I, I went out for that 15 feet, but I came out. Because if you go up this ramp, it's so vertical that if you just go like this, you'll come out. And then the further you come out, the more you fall yeah. because oh, it's Jesus. so steep. Jesus. So then I land on my ass. Feels like I shit my pants. <laughs> and then I'm like, because I land like that, and I'm a crunch. And then I'm like, oh no, and I walk off. And then they're like, we got an x-ray, we'll x-ray you. Cause I'm like, I'm, there's something going on here. 
and they x-rayed me but it was like too blurry through my ribs and it was well, just fine they're like oh we can't see anything but if it hurts like come back and see us tomorrow and i'm like broken back i'm like yeah sure yeah and then anyway i competed broken back. and i freaking screwed up my first ever x games and i flew home and i'm like my back's still sore went to the hospital and i sure enough had fractures God, in my dang. spine I mean, that's the Fractures game. Fractures in your fucking spine. That's the game. Yeah. But I also feel like, at, I mean, you're doing it now, but the, there's gonna, there's always, whatever that young kid is, practice him right now, maybe listen to this, and mm. then you can go practice. There's going to be an outlier. Like in F1, F1's been around forever. Mm -hmm. Until Lewis Hamilton came along and made it more, kind of crossed over into pop culture and became mm. more famous, then people start paying attention to it. Now, I mean, internationally, it was the biggest sport. Mm. But now in America, Netflix highlighted these guys because they have personalities, and it blows up, and it puts it on the map, yeah. and it just keeps going for whatever it is another 50 years. So I feel like with X mm. Games, when I was a kid, X Games was massive. Mm -hmm. and they, whatever, ESPN had their issues, and kind of went away, and then now it's back. Yeah. You know, yeah. Sh shout out to your mom, though, too. <laughs> because, like, a lot of moms, when they saw their kids doing that, would scare them. Protect them. Like, so my mom, when I was them. I was skiing, and mm -hmm. I was jumping, and I was jumping a lot, and then my sister came back and said, Brian's jumping, because I loved that I was trying to jump as high. <laughs> she goes, Brian's jumping super high. It's so scary. Yeah. And my mother, you know what my mother said to me? Put a scarf on. She goes, that too. But she said, be careful, because if you if you miscalculate, she, she catastrophizes everything. I've never forgotten. She exaggerates. She, she goes, this is literally what she said to me. She goes, <laughs> be, and I, I was never had so much more fun in my life. She goes, be careful, because if you miscalculate, you could hit your skis, and you're your skis will stop and these bones will come out. They will break <laughs> out. Compound fracture. She said, no, she was just trying to terrify. I was fucking, I was like, uh, I don't know, 12 or 11. I was like, well, that's not what I want at all. And she put that in my head and I never skied again. Hey, now, dude, should we give your mom credit? Because that would have went nowhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? I could have been your Ryan mom was Williams. Like, um, if you do that, you're going to die. Don't do that because she wanted you to. But I could have been Ryan Williams. You never know. Why are you pissing on my dreams now? I'm 11 years old. That's true, but. You know what I mean? You, 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 you can't trick. let an 11-year-old fucking like dream a little bit. I'm Unbelievable. <laughs> clipping my fucking wings. <laughs> but also, Ryan, I'm going hey, to talk to you, bro. Hey, but also, your mom's the same mom. And I, we, there's yeah. moms like that. When you're on escalators, like, oh, honey, do, do not This is touch. my joke. Because if the shoelace get caught, it's going to rip your legs. My mother would say that. That's don't never wear a scarf Because if it gets caught in the bus. In the, she'd tell me a story, you know, the bus is closed yeah. and the, the, oh, the little girl your lost head. her head. <laughs> or, I'm like, hey, hey, what the fuck, man? Well, part of it's your fault. Yeah. Part of it's your fault as it's just who you are. As you listen yeah. to your mom, like, I should probably write, I'm going to die. You say I'm a mama's boy? You Dude, bitch. I can't fucking get an inch no, you little bitch, right? You little bitch, bitch, right? Because if I tell my, like, my kids were swimming, I was yeah. like, hey, be careful. There's a, a nest over there. I'm like, you hit that nest. They're going to come out. They're going to kill you. Boss like, kill you? And Tiger's like, hmm. I look out there, he has a stick. Hitting it. <laughs> yeah. Wait, just wait, wrist your, your mom never really told you that to worry about that. She was supportive. No, she was always super supportive. Obviously, at the start, I'm just at the skate park. I'm not really riding yeah, a 28 foot yeah. mega <laughs> ramp. So it's your it kind of, house. It kind of gradually. But also, his mom was a badass competitor. I was going to yeah. say, and you're 15, and they're, they're sending you places to do it. It's after, like, after I was at the skate park for a year, and I didn't come back with like a smashed face in, it was, she yeah. was like, oh, okay, maybe he's like doing it right. And then I was like getting like, Sponsored and I don't know. She, yeah, I'd, like, go, I'd go home and she's like, Mom, look at what I did. And she'd be yeah. like, Whoa, that's sick. And then, like, she'd know if I, I had scrapes and bruises, but yeah. comes with the I don't know. It's just, but how great is that? I'd way rather my kid doing that than playing video games all day, you know, depending, but yeah. teaches you like just consequences for your actions you know and then it teaches you persistence if you want to like learn a trick so it's helped me it helped me in so many but parts you also have to grow up pretty fast because if you're flying around and doing all this shit and you i mean you're a teenager then yeah. you're in your early 20s you're having some success some fame there's money there mm. like i'm sure like you can go down a weird road yeah and, and also if you're extremist like i don't give a fuck what it is ufc yeah. stand up nfl like when you're around that stuff then and you have that you know you want to experience like you're always running at the highest level. A lot of yeah. snakes with apples going, take a bite. And, yeah. and that apple might be full of cocaine or big tits. You know? <laughs> so it's like a lot of tough things. A lot of apples, a lot, a lot of apples of with curves. So, but I'm saying, like, I, I wasn't at that level at that young age. Like, it must have been tough being young on your own, you know? Getting my sleeves ripped off at, from Travis Pastrana at the after party. Yeah, you know no, that? They rip <laughs> your sleeves off. Yeah, they just rip your sleeves off. Yeah. Like, they have a drink, like, because all athletes, I mean, I feel like action sports is such a, like, risk and reward sport yeah. that, 
yeah, you, you don't mind taking a few risks here and adrenaline, there. So adrenaline, junkies, adrenaline junkies. Right. But I, I get a, I get a lot of it just doing the tricks, doing a new trick that like I've never thought, uh, I've never d tried before is enough to is the biggest rush I can get. I was gonna say what sounds interesting is that like it's like it's not the performance is awesome, but it's the coming journey. up with the stuff and surprising yourself. Yeah, the journey's always so, I feel super like fun that's too. How stand up is when you write a joke. Like uh, they, I get more satisfaction out of writing yeah. something if it works. i, I kind of know it's going to work already at this point i've done it so long what, but if i come up with a thing i'm like dude that's going to be really what, what about like if you change a little bit and it lands so much harder you're yeah. like oh yeah. that's yes. like me with the trick i'm like man why is this in, why isn't this working and then i'll change like one little thing and it'll yes. just go it'll be like stand up and i'm like let's go I think because it's all way. you right it's yeah. all you i'll be on the plane and i was like i've been doing the same thing and all of a sudden i go Wait, and I and I rehashed it, and I was like, "Fuck, this is so much better." Yeah, and it was just like a tweak, but it's like it's night and day. Mm. That I I think that's kind of what I don't know. I think maybe that's why I love it so much. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it, nothing is like that, and 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 so whether you're coming up with ways to make people laugh or coming up with ways to make people go, "Wow, yeah, this is what you're doing." Yeah, it's kind of the it's a similar thing. I'd imagine somebody who writes a song is the same way. Mm. They write this sick song, they're like, "This is gonna kill." Yeah, and I feel like you're always creating. I feel like I mesh well with the people, like the UFC fighters too, because it's a lot of risk and reward. So I always get along with like all the UFC fighters, like always. Volkanovski, uh, Stylebender. I talked to. He's he, he's been like watching a lot of my stuff, and he's, he's always like, "Hell, are you doing this?" It's like he's the best because we 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 take the risk, and you sometimes you lose, and sometimes it's you a win. Fraternity, bro. they recognize. Yeah. They recognize something. Yeah, and I'd sort of why it's a fraternity. Yeah, because I'm like fighting all the same thing. I'm fighting the ground. Yeah, <laughs> and sometimes it wins, and yeah, yeah but like, like the guy. And it's not. It's not a knock on. It's just I. I, I can't relate to those guys. It's like yeah. that nine to five, or like the guy that works at Remax. He just doesn't get like how it's 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 this it's this risk reward thing, mm -hmm. and there's there's no backup plan. Like you're not gonna get to your level if you have a plan B all your life. Or you have rich parents. Yeah, you're not gonna become Izzy if you have rich parents. It yeah. just doesn't happen. Yeah. So and you guys like you made it, which is so rare and so damn tough. Poverty is uh, a. <laughs> You know, creates that hunger or just like longing, whatever it might be. Longing is really important. Just wanting, wanting stuff you can't. My buddy just, my buddy just fucking uh, good friend of mine. His company's about to be a billion dollar company. I knew you were gonna say billion. Like, <laughs> I knew it was gonna be billion. Yeah, but that's like, a lot of millions. No, but yeah, like crazy so money. Like, yeah, he, wow. He came up with something ten years ago, and followed it through, and yeah. now they just like yesterday. Yeah. Like it just sold. His name's it's Elon gonna Musk. Be, it's gonna yeah, but he's. <laughs> No, no, it Brian just, just sold. full of shit. He's like Elon yeah, Musk yeah, is a friend. Yeah. Elon of Musk is a good buddy, <sighs> but he just sold it. And like I was talking to him, and his childhood, like he was like I was physically hungry growing up. Like I like mm. I grew up. My dad was a mechanic. He goes like you. We were hungry. We had to split. You hear Dominic Cruz talks about that. Like they had to split a happy meal, and it's like that kind of stuff. And and now he's. And I go, well, what's it gonna? How are you gonna? What's that do to you? And he goes, I still have work to do, bro. Like he can't shut it off. Mm. No, that never leaves. No. But, but I think there, there's a story of like you know the kid who's hungry and wants to make money, so he can buy things, and that's great. There's that. But then there's also kids come from blue collar families, and they don't have to be divorced or drug no, addicts. No, no, no. And there's fucking there's a, there's a there's some reason there's some chip mm. on their shoulder, whatever it is. Yeah. Whether they're playing little league and their best friend parents had money and bought the kid the cool gloves or whatever he got the attention yeah. and for whatever reason it puts a, a fucking chip on that kid's yep. shoulder mm -hmm. and he's gonna make it because he always feels n maybe he's second best all the time when he might be the best just listen to jordan's so it's, it's, hall of fame speech <laughs> sure so it's like it's like whatever your motivation is it can come from anything yeah it doesn't have to come from poverty it might be a rich kid there's rich kids are fuck their work ethics are nuts because their dads, whatever, super famous, yeah, they and they have this chip on their shoulder. Like I could get out from underneath this shadow of my dad. Yeah, and their work ethic is nuts, man. So it just it comes from all sorts of, of different places. For me, I think it was just like an opportunity. When I got opportunities, I just capitalize on the opportunities. As long as you appreciate the opportunities that are put in front of you, and you like do your best to try capitalize on it that's like the main thing that i feel like got me where i am like it was i started scoot obviously there was something that i had my persistence i had my consistency but a lot of people have that as well and they don't make it just because they don't ever get noticed or they don't ever get the opportunity but i got or they get the opportunity and don't show up yeah like there's again there's we're talking about practice yeah you know what i'm saying like there's guys i'm sure they can do mm. crazy shit yeah off on your ramp at home yeah and then the cameras then the x games are like oh shit yeah you don't you got a lot of fighters you like get that, better right? guys who, there's fire. Yeah. I Monsters train against some fighters. I'm like, this guy's never gonna lose. Yeah. This guy. Oh my god, I'm fucked. I'm like number ten. <laughs> this yeah. guy beat the shit out of me for three rounds. 
Wow. But then the lights go on Oof. and people bought tickets. They got to make that walk. And I show up. Yeah. And he's shitting his pants <gasps> and he's stiff Damn. and he's not fighting the same. Damn. So there's there's people that show like are game time players yeah. and there's practice players. But yeah. did you ever feel, did you always feel like nervous or like, always. did you always get, yeah, yes. Yeah. So that, that's like me. Like I'm always, I always feel the exact same nervousness and I feel like almost sick, but it almost turns a crazy thing. Like I don't know what turns on, but something turns on where I do better. I feel like I'm like oh I'm about to I feel like I'm about to vomit about to drop in but then something just like clicks and it's like almost like I'm hyper focused it's like I'm locked in Flo, to this in crazy zone, mode of right? like zone. just on and, and that that's a special skill have have you had it before where you weren't nervous and you did bad probably but yeah I, I I've had it where I wasn't nervous I'm like oh this is cool I'm not as nervous <laughs> yeah. and I had the worst performance ever yeah like, if you don't have those nerves you're not gonna perform mm, as, as yeah. good like you it's, need those nerves because it fires everything up it like heightens everything yeah you can almost use it yeah to your advantage that's what GSP says he's like everyone has nerves I'm just the best at getting those butterflies in my stomach to align yeah, wasn't, yeah. wasn't he always terrified before a fight the worst he was seen. the worst yeah the worst GSP oh, I know yeah. guys that vomit every time they do yep. X games they vomit before they ride like, but they do well, but they like they're so yeah, nervous. There are a lot of performers. And it's like not that. me though. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot yeah, of performers. There's certain guys. Like that, yeah, it's crazy. And then they go out and kick ass. Yeah, Meryl Streep's that way. The greatest actress. You know, she's just always like, I don't fucking know that. Imagine know. being a. That'd be crazy being an actor and being that nervous. Well, she you know, was, I do to Meryl Streep. Hey, you get twenty takes. I know. No <laughs> way. Hey, hey, hey. I know. Hey. But so my friend directed her for. She was reading a book. It was for a book. Yeah. And she's in the hallway going like this. I don't know. Oh God! I got a thing at the thing, and she's like, "Are you well, nervous?" Your friend was Brian Greenberg on the show. My friend was my friend was uh, <laughs> directing her, and, uh, yeah, yeah. reading him a book. You know, no, a book yeah, on yeah. Tape. yeah. And this is like a book on tape. I wouldn't be nervous even a little. She's like, I don't know. Maybe, it's because she course, cares. Yeah, cares. Yeah, if you to care. Make it yeah, you, yeah. This was the so so uh, fucking. Uh, but the confidence. That's like me. I was the nervous, the most nervous I've ever been. Asking, asking Jess to be my to marry me. Terrifying. Oh, I was terrifying. So I couldn't yeah. speak, dude. I was in Japan. I was like, I'm doing it under the cherry blossoms in Japan, and there was like a, the first place we went to, the cherry blossoms had like all died, so there was none on the tree. And I'm like, no, there's like two or three flowers. I'm like, shit. <laughs> That's not how I pictured it. Like, yeah. Exactly. We'll go to the next spot, and she's like, why are we going to another cherry blossom place? I'm like, just try. Just, yeah, I'm, it's I'm on really the way. I'm like, it's, it's on the yeah. way. It's on the way to the next spot. Oh, and then anyway, yeah, I found the spot and then i was like okay i practiced like four sentences in the shower that morning i'm like oh no i know what i'm gonna say i said like one and a half yeah. of it and then i'm like we marry <laughs> yeah. like mouth after, is all dry like after competing in x games with gold medals uh, doing nitro circus in front of like thirty thousand people in south africa do my tricks no worries let's go and then i can't just talk that's different. to the woman awesome. i love different. like and say words how long wow. were you dating you guys dating for about four Two years weeks. wow yeah but i've been how'd you meet a few uh, mutual friends, and then we went on a date to sushi, and yeah. she dropped mayonnaise and on I my shoe. I can't use chopsticks, so <laughs> I like shot it across the table. <laughs> Wait, what did you do? What happened? Oh, we, she can't use chopsticks, so she's like trying to use chopsticks, and she dropped the mayonnaise like under the table under my shoe. It's just that's just something I always remember. It's sushi. Oh, and and don't you guys call uh, like crabs, like crustaceans, bugs in Australia? Uh, uh, I think they do, oh. but yeah, we don't really yeah. that much. But, yeah. Crabs. I mean, we just crabs. We call it because we're being chill. What do you call it? Oh yeah, they yeah, yeah. Now yeah, we do. They call bugs. Yeah, which they are. I saw the menu and it said bugs. I'm like, now yeah, we have. So in my mind, American, I'm thinking like cockroaches, grasshoppers. But I call I call shrimp sea roaches. So yeah, there are bugs. They're all in the bug family. Yeah, I I didn't order it because it grossed me out. Yeah. Let's take a little break, B, because listen, buying a home is exhausting, dude. And if you have bad credit these yeah. days with the interest rates, they're looking to everything. Well, listen, kickoff is the fastest and the easiest way to j safely jumpstart your credit and get to those goals faster, okay? You can sign up for a monthly plan in minutes, start building credit immediately for as low as five bucks, all right? Um, if you have bad credit, it's a nightmare. You can't do much. That's why yeah. you need kickoff. All right. And kickoff credit line is that they do that just for your credit building, not everyday spending. Users with credit under 600 increase their credit by an average of 30 points in the first month. It's All a credit right. hack. It's really what it is. That's no what it catch, is. no credit check. It's simple. You make on time payments. Credit bureaus see good behavior, your credit grows. Best That's part is, it it's is. super easy to use. Kick off, sign up in minutes from your phone and start building credit right away. Use auto pay to build that credit up while you sleep. Never worry about missing a payment. No credit check. Like Brian said, cancel any time. 
Kickoff is but the number, number one thousand, app, dude. Oh, number one credit building app. positive reviews on Whoa. the App Store. That's 100. And 98 are five stars. That's crazy. Join over a million people building credit with while they sleep with Kickoff Credit Account today. Get your first month for a dollar. That's what? 80% off the normal price when you go to getkickoff.com. That's get k i k o f f dot com slash fighter. Must sign up via kickoff dot com slash fighter to activate offer. Offer applies to new kickoff customers first month only. Subject to approval. Average impact of thirty point increase in first month based on Equifax Vantage score three point zero changes for kickoff premium customers with starting credit below six hundred who made their first on time payment between January twenty twenty one and March twenty twenty four. Payment and credit activity outside the kickoff have can have an impact on your credit. Terms and conditions may apply. Offer subject to change. Individual results may vary. And Jess is a nurse too, so like, oh, you yeah. are, oh, damn. I am, yeah. So if he walks around injured, I know when he's faking it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, that's La- so actually cool. last yeah. X Games when I I, won- I end up winning two gold medals and one silver medal and I was like I got so sick and she's like I couldn't even get out of bed she's like I'm gonna go get your stuff she went to the chemist and she like got all this concoction of (laughs) like drugs and I'm like I just then I got to ride practice and then yeah then I won you felt good and and we I had a a staying at the Motel 6 (laughs) because last year I wasn't sponsored by like Monster or anyone so I did uh, who knows ask them mate but (laughs) for a long time I can yeah yeah you can ask them but they are now. It's st- I'm stoked, but basically, I was well, I was paying my own way, and I was like, "We'll just stay at Motel Six. It's so close. Oh, like, we no. don't know what it, we yeah. didn't know really what you Motel know, Six yeah. was." Yeah. yeah, and then we get there the first <laughs> night. There's like a police raid, <laughs> and like I was like, well, I'm like, oh, I got to yeah, do. When you want to mix meth or, or traffic uh, traffic people, you use a motel. Yeah, yeah, motel so six then, is- yeah, first night is police raid, and then I have the competition the next day. So I do my first. I do oh no, like the the elimination round, which is like just the first one just to get in the finals so I do that I get through that night there's a fire brigade there and then the next day I win two gold me- oh, I win one silver medal and one gold medal and I'm like let's get a better hotel yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. get the hell out yeah, of here let's get yeah. the fuck out of here <laughs> yeah. but it yeah. took it took me winning two yeah. medals to get us into I was like surely a gold medalist isn't going to stay at the motel six any longer no oh, we can't yeah. have that no, we can't have that addicts outside like the window like growling at night I'm like oh I'm scared yeah. please and what, yeah. what city was this in Ventura. Ventura. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll, get, it'll get rough. Yeah, yeah. Ventura will get rough. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of math. A lot of speed. I like Ventura as a city, but it, it can be I've certain seen Breaking Bad. Like it, but yeah, yeah. it can be, yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> I, I think that's just instilled in me from my childhood, too. I just like to now you hold travel, on to money a little question, bit. But you travel with your bike, or do they have a bike? No, yeah. I got two bikes, and they just I got I pull them fully apart, and they fit in a, bi- uh, a bag that's not even... You know, there's one in oversized, which is kind of bigger. I can kind of keep oh, my bike a little... you carry your bike with you? Yeah, yeah. How much they weigh? It takes it apart. I don't know in pounds, sorry, but yeah. it's like 10 kilos. Like, it's pretty light, my bike. It's got like, titanium on it. 20 pa- 22 pounds? Yeah. Wow. They're light, yeah. Yeah, it's super light, but it's not the, It's not a motorbike. No. I- <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's, like, how, Ryan's like, how do you bring your Harley on the airplane? <laughs> yeah, right? I, know I you, saw you riding I, your I, chopper. I knew you ride, I knew you rode scooters, and I knew you rode bikes, but I just always assumed you, all you guys, you also rode motorcycles. Maybe next, man. It's but a different world, it's, right? It's uh, the, the risk factor. They can't fall off a thousand times no. like they have airbags though and that's really helped that's really pushed the level like Travis Estrano has invested in a lot of like that bag jump technology where it's like you can kind of crash but still even if you uh, if you land upside down on an airbag oh you've still got a motorbike above your head that's going to crush it's, you it's like hundreds of pounds so oh. yeah that's where I yeah. like unless it's there's something really I really could do that I know I could land on a motorbike. Fuck like that. Yeah, Stay I'm, with bikes, bro. Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the mind. It's still just as exciting. Have you ever tried any extreme sports? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, Brian I stopped when he was 11. When I was, when I was skiing, uh, my mom told me when that my 11. bones would pop out of my oh, fucking yeah, shit. Right. Uh, Way to ruin sport. my life. I, mean, I grew up snowboarding because I grew up in Denver. But yeah. That's not that extreme. Well, it I mean, can be. I mean, You the mo- fought in a cage with giant men. That's it. Hold on. Bro. Do you, do you remember the guys you used to practice with yeah. who were six foot eight trying to punch you in the face as hard as they could? Yeah, that's pretty who are, extreme. Who were pro kickboxers? I mean, I that's do off-road racing now, yeah. which is, I mean, it's pretty fucking, I didn't realize how dangerous it was until I was actually out there on the course. That's pretty fucking extreme. Yeah, it's not. You practiced in your truck, didn't you? I seen that. Yeah, I, I, uh, that was on accident. <laughs> that was on accident. Yeah, that one. But dude, one it's, it's not the same as getting punched in the face by giants different they're all it's all extreme like it's just different like that off-road race is fucking dangerous dude I've like, never people been die f- all the time i've right? never been all in a fight time. my whole life never been never in one fight? fight my whole but life. you love ufc yeah i do i love the ufc but i just watch it i just you get your you get your I, kicks I, out of the other 
What's this now? I'd like to. Oh. Well, we heard it was someone's birthday. Right? Uh -huh. It's your birthday? <laughs> yeah, two, day, two days ago. Oh, shit. Happy what? You birthday. put BMXs and scooters on it? Oh, Look at that. I just did it. Dude, that's Thanks so, so much. much. No, and thanks for spending and that, that comes with a gift certificate to Motel 6. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's right. A free stay. <laughs> yeah, free stay. Two nights on us. Right. No, you pay you for stick it. to a diet or no? Yeah, uh, well, not not a specific diet. I just don't eat bad. I've just always kind of, I just feel better. When I, when I eat good, when I eat bad, sorry, is more, I feel not 100%. And if you're not feeling 100% when you're doing like these tricks, it's just. You got to be on, man. It's like, imagine having a fight and you're like, I'm going to eat Maccas before it. Like, no, no. now I'm going to get my ass beat and I'm full of McDonald's. Yeah, like, just, that's just mentally gonna, too, you know? Yeah, I always honest. eat, just try to eat clean. And then, I mean, I'm 30 years old, so I'm yeah, just trying to stay fit and yeah. compete with 21-year-olds, you know. <laughs> well, we got some cupcakes for you. We got cupcakes. You got some current events, Jen? Will you watch the, because you're, the X Games, like, what you guys do it during the day still? Yeah, yeah. So you'll be able to watch the UFC yeah, I'll be watching 303 uh, on Saturday. Yeah, I'm excited. I wish I could fly. It's, it's, it's on Saturday. It's on Saturday. Yeah, it's, so it's going to be the same day I'm In competing, Vegas, but yeah. I'm excited. Well, I, well, I'm going to Perth. You're going to, that's a yeah, big Yeah, I know. It just got even better. I got my flight. I surprised my mum. You should have seen, I surprised my mum and she started beating me up in the kitchen. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, you're going to the UFC. And she's like, what? Started yeah. punching me. <laughs> she loves it. Oh, she loves it. Because they announced Strickland, uh, Duplessis, and then I wow. think the no, it's uh, Adesanya. No, versus. Adesanya. Oh, would I say Strickland? Oh, I'm yeah. sorry. Oh my God. It's, it, but I think they I bet you they announced Strickland versus Whitaker. When is this? Oh, that's what I think they're going to do. When, be nice. when is this? August 17th. August. Because the thing about it, Whitaker doesn't have a mark on him, starched homeboy, yeah. and then Strickland's chilling. That was the fight. Yeah. The fight. I know that they that's said that he'd be, Robert could be the backup, but they, be sick if be the they backup. just chucked him in. But that's wild to go straight into <sighs> Strickland. That's crazy. That'd Whitaker's be a down. sick fight. A sick fight. They were supposed to fight before. It was offered. Uh, that's what do you think of that? Who do you think? <clears throat> Me? I never bet against Adesanya. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Adesanya is, is greatness, and I think he's going to be. You know, the first UFC fight, so the, the way I met Dana, he posted one of my videos, and then I, I messaged him back. He's like, you're the absolute goat of action sports. You're crazy. And I'm like, dude, you're coming to uh, Melbourne a few days after Nitro Circus. Do you want to come to Nitro Circus? So he came to Nitro Circus. This is like maybe six years ago, and he came to Nitro Circus. was on, on the field, and he, uh, he like experienced the big part of the show and he was like i'm gonna buy this <laughs> yeah right yeah and <laughs> then two days buy, it might have been you buy this. <laughs> he's like i like it i'll take it. yeah <laughs> and then two days two days later it was uh i went to my first ufc fight and i was and container was like i'll hook you up with tickets and i'm like oh shit cool and i know i'm sitting next to chris hensworth i'm like oh, what sick. the fuck's going on Thor, and, dude yeah he's australian too isn't oh he? yeah yeah. yeah, and then I, I was sitting because I I was a, I'm a huge fan of Starbender, but then I was sitting next to Whitaker's family, and obviously I'm Australian, so I love Whitaker. So I'm like, uh, like I'm all about anime and stuff. So I was like, I love Starbender, but then I'm sitting with Whitaker's family, and that was the first time Different I animal. realized, like, wow, like this is gnarly yeah, to sit yeah, next yeah. to the family. There's it's so I was like, I have to, especially when they lose. Yes, dude, it's heartbreaking. Could you see? It's just, it's out. So when I when I was working at Showtime, they sat me and my brother next to um, the guy. I forget his name. Who Deontay Wilder was fighting? Yeah, it was a dead man walking. I mean, <laughs> yeah, it was a horrible fight. And and when I sat down. I take his like, and my brother's like, man, he's ringside. I was like, this is cool. Yeah. And I looked over and I I'm like, oh, and I saw the shirt of yeah. Brazil. I think his name was. And I and Jay goes, these seats are great. I go, oh, we gotta switch seats. He goes, why? I go, that's the family of the guy Dante is fighting. <laughs> Jay's like, should be a good fight. I go, I'm like, dude, I'm telling you, you're gonna see tears. We're yeah. Gonna get the fuck out of oh, He's like, no, we'll be fine. Brazil, sure enough, Brazil. he literally, I think he killed him. <laughs> and the family's like, no. And my brother's like, holy shit. I'm yeah, like, I tried nice. to tell you. It's a fucking, when you're next to the family and they lose, dude, uh, there's nothing worse. That's horrifying. like, did you have your family at the, uh, in your fights? All or? fights. All my, fight, yeah, my yeah. dad and brother never missed a fight. Me never. too. I hated it. It's like my boy watching it. I, just, I hate, I hate yeah. that shit. I hate watching, like watching your friends fights. It's like, just sucks. Sucks. But uh, well, not when they win. When they win, it's awesome. If yeah. Lose, it's like. It's a tough night in the office. Sucks. Yeah. But you'll um, you watch all the UFCs now? Yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, it. Yeah, no, what, like, like that that whole area, like New Zealand, Australia, yeah. like it's popping, man. Yeah, it's always sick when you, the crowd's always so rowdy. They're always yelling crazy stuff out in the crowd. But yeah, ever since then, I've just been like a massive fan of it. I couldn't believe it. Do you it. bet on it or no? 
Uh, yeah, yeah, here and there, just a little bit on sports bet. Not much, though. You take, I always you lose because gonna... Jess, Jess always bets against... As soon as Jess bets against me, she, I always lose. She just goes, I just know. I can look I at him. Just and, you know, know. I can tell. She has like the alpha woman... male smell. She goes, yeah, that guy's going to win. He, I, he's a, he could protect my family better yeah. than the other guy. <laughs> but, but also, you probably got into it because like Volkanovski dominated. Yeah. Izzy dominating. Yeah. Whitaker's been dominating for a hot yeah. second. Like There's yeah. a lot of Australians, man. Yeah, it's always popping. Yeah, no, I love Feeling it. But I, I, I actually like the um the apex funds fights are sick because you don't there's not so many not so much crowd and you actually hear the, like the corner work, and uh, it's always really interesting to me. You got you got an uh, opinion on Duplessis? Uh, is he? Uh, is he? Yeah, I, I mean, I'm always I'm gonna go style manager just because he's like a, he's just into like anime and stuff and like uh, I just like the way he fights. So, but it's just like strict. I was going for Izzy when he fought Strickland, and I was there. And I was like, "What is going on?" But I think he always comes back from a loss pretty, pretty good. That's so why I bet that's on Izzy. That's why, yeah, I, I'd be betting on Izzy. I'd, I'd almost guarantee Izzy wins this fight. Yeah, come, come really? off a loss, oh, dude. I would not. He said, like when he lost to Strickland, and you know, Strick, I'm not taking anything away from Strickland. Yeah, Izzy had an off night. You know, short notice fight. He, we sure. didn't realize how good Strickland was with his defense and all that. Izzy just had an off night, and the, yes. we find out prior he got like a DUI. It was kind of fucking mm. around. He's probably drinking the Kool Aid a little too much. So he went through that lesson, and now you're going to give him Duplices, and they hate each other? Dude, I'll take Izzy all day. But then all it's day. like Polo was like, he strictly did the same thing to Polo Costa. Just, just had, Costa had nothing for him, really. The, the difference is, like, Polo Costa didn't fight his game. and was trying yeah. to sit on the outside, and he doesn't have the, the yeah. tools to beat him, so that made no sense. But Izzy, uh, motivated Izzy, yeah. come off a loss, good fucking luck. Good dude. luck, man. Starbird is huge. I didn't. There's another it's thing tall. with the UFC PI thing. Uh, they were like, "Oh, how much you weigh?" And I think I was like, "I'd be up against like if I didn't cut weight, I was I'd be fighting Starbender." I'm like, "Are you are you fucking kidding me?" He's tall. <laughs> are you, 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 you weigh 185, but you got to remember he sucks down. So by the yeah. time he steps in, he's at least 205, 210, right? Nah, I bet maybe, maybe 200. That's Izzy's crazy. Tall, tall oh. and thin, but was, he's fucking tall. Imagine if it was white, weight classes in BMX. That'd be, that'd be wild. That'd People be would like cutting weight to just do tail whips. Yeah. <laughs> well, the 55 pounders are your size. Yeah. The, the four, uh, how much you pounders? weigh? 185. Uh, like 85 kilos. I uh, know 50, 55ers. Yeah. yeah. There's not 45ers walking around 85. That'd yeah. Fuck there are some. Yeah, there are. There's uh, some. I mean, it's a tough You're talking about I'm pretty heavy right now. There yeah. might be one or two. But there are a lot the of 55ers. The professionals. 55ers walk Some 55ers. Some. Well, Dustin Poirier 100% walks with 85. One hundred percent. Yeah, and so does so does Islam. all of those guys. Yeah, and so, so Gaethje's big. I saw Gaethje. I was like, "What the fuck?" Fifty five, eighty five to fifty five is not uncommon. You know. Yeah, you're out of camp. I mean, uh, is uh, out of camp. Like so, so, so Khabib, Khabib trying to get down to fifty five. He was walking around one ninety something. Yeah, he's he's yeah. big nightmare. Yeah, I got a question about fighters. Do you you know when people think about fighters, sometimes they think of like an aggressive dude at the bar. Is there anyone that's actually like oh, pr like an aggressive dude that's Strickland? up in the top Strickland? level? Strickland. Yeah, he Strickland is the one guy that again, you know, in a fight in a street fight or whatever, he's the one guy when you think of like the way fighters are. Yeah, he kind of shows that most of them aren't like that. Yeah, most of them aren't. Cause it, like, well, they like, can't I, really get in a fight outside of the UFC. They either, can, so, yeah. but I also think like it's uh, yeah, like Strickland has a lot of demons, man. Yeah, you know? yeah like yeah. he grew up all fucked up, so he yeah. has like all these insecurities, which is what makes him great. But then most fighters are like they're, they're the ego's not there. Like mm. we don't need to be the toughest guy in the bar. We know it. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah. So they're not like like you know you never see them. They're usually just chilling in the corner. Because <laughs> yeah. if shit pops off, good luck, man. <laughs> you know. And so it's always the, the calm guy. But yeah, Strickland's getting that one guy where it's like. Yeah, but I love him. He's great. Yep. But most guys are chill, man. So yeah, yeah. Chill. That's who you should be worried about. The quietest guy in the bar is not making all the noise. Yeah. The loudest, I'm just saying, the loudest guy is the least toughest guy. Every fighter I've ever met has like been super nice to me, and never, everyone's nice. like so welcoming. But and you're then, also around Robert Whitaker. Yeah. Who first team all nice. Robert Whitaker's the nicest fucking yeah, guy. Yeah. The family guy. I think he has five fucking kids. He does. Is he great guy? Yeah. Alex Volkanovsky couldn't be a yeah, better person. Yeah. yeah. Ty Tuavasa. Yeah. Tyson Pedro. Like all those. Uh, Mark Hunt, dude. Yeah. All of them are like the nicest Legends, yeah. fucking people in the world and absolute fucking savages. Savages. Yeah. savages. All of them. Savages. But they're all the nicest fucking guys, yeah. dude. Yeah. Well, they saved the, they saved the aggression for. When they can counts. get it. They out. also have nothing to prove. Paid. They also have nothing to like. What you know? Yeah. What do you got, Jen? 
All right. Actually, how are you with time, Ryan? You good? Oh, I'm good, mate. Oh, I've got perfect. nothing to do today. We're chilling. <laughs> perfect. Yeah. I think we should start talking about the biggest thing, right? Uh, Connor, UFC is postponed, but everyone has their opinion on it. What's your thought on that? I think there are other things going on. <laughs> so Uncle Chael thought he was going to rehab, I heard. Chael pulled back on that. Oh, he did pull back. Uh -huh. Okay. So then you got like Rafael over here saying something. We have Makachev saying, you know, you don't need a pinky toe for a fight. Oh. Chicken. We have uh, Ilya coming through saying you're mentally broken. Yeah. That is your biggest lesson. You yeah. doubt yourself, your abilities, your preparation. That's why you don't show up. You're a... Yeah. Jeez, everybody wants a piece of Connor. You know the bare knuckle when he was did it was the bare knuckle he did that speech? Uh it was PFL. PFL, sorry. He, yeah, he looked jacked. He looked he looked He's like he was in shape. Yeah, so here here's the thing with this is and Rogan nailed it on the head, but so there's gonna be a bunch of conspiracies and yeah. all this stuff. That's so much more interesting than the truth. Yeah. Like, and it's the same with conspiracies, whatever it is. Like, if you say the world's round, everyone's like, yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> Flat, so fun. Yeah. Or 9 11, so fun, dude. MK Ultra, this is so fun. Right. With Connor, it's like, here's the, here's the narrative, here's the story. He was preparing for the fight. He didn't have the proper equipment on. He kicked, and he knows better, he kicked, broke his toe. Mm -hmm. Right, and it's on the same leg that he damaged. It's a real, it's a, it's a complete it's a real break. Toe. Yeah, a break. yeah, but I, I, I fought with a broken pinky. I would say Alex Pierre is fighting this weekend with two broken toes. Okay. People do it all the yeah. fucking time, right? Yeah. And there's nothing you can do. You just tape it to the other one. You move on. Mm. But for Connor, you gotta realize where he's at. It's like he loses one. It's fucking over. He's mm. fought hurt before. He fought with a blown out knee against Mendez and still fucking knocked him out. Yeah. Even getting taken down, you know, in the first round, losing the first round. So we know he can do that. With Connor, if like he can't have any injuries, like yeah. he needs to be able to move. Because you lose this one, the ride's over. It's completely over. Yeah. So I think for him and his team, it's like, could you fight? Yeah. <clears throat> you're maybe eighty percent. Your movement's fucking awful. And you, and just to help with this narrative, you know the reason why the news came out so late. They put lidocaine in his in that yeah. broken toe and just have him move around. So they waited three to four days to see how he moved. Yeah. And he was like, it's it's still it's the exact same. And yeah. that's when they pulled it. But the narrative of, you know, he's doing illegal shit in Dublin or he needs to go to rehab, that's fun, dude. That's all not that's, all that stuff's what, out there. What, yeah. what of course it's out there. No, None of it's that, true. None of it's true. Or, so or it is. It's not. No. And then how it's long not. Like, it's not that long like he he won't need ages. Like they just postpone it and I feel like maybe 10% of people are going to be like I'm not going to watch that now this is so annoying not even 10% yeah, no they yeah. won't not going to do shit 50 but then now everyone talking about this oh it's even more hype it's going to be even bigger <laughs> it's going to be even crazier it, again if this was Connor seven years ago he takes this fight we don't even hear about it bro. Yeah. really no really? He, we don't fucking dude, fighters fight all the time with broken toes it fucking happens yeah but it's his, this is the big hurrah. He loses this one, the fucking ride's over. Mm. I think his team was like, buddy, even at 80%, like, Chandler's a tough fucking fight. We need the movement. Just postpone it. Yeah. You, what are, like, it's not like he's in this title hunt. Yeah. It's not like he, where you need to rush him back. But it does feel like a broken toe, even if it's your pinky toe, it is a real injury. That's a bitch. It's a bitch. I mean, training all the time, you know, but a, a complete break. It looks like it's a complete break. Yeah, it's not like just a purple toe. No, it it's looks like, like it's, a, if you look it's at not the like a hairline fracture. No, if you no. look at the x-ray, yeah. it's a clean break. That's, that's what I'm saying. They tried lidocaine. Literally, he was still down. He's like, all right, just, so, so just, look, just like any yeah. fighter. See that? That's a clean break. Yeah, that's gonna yeah just like any fighter, right. they're like, all right, let's work through this. And they just tape it. Like, dude, right. if you see fighters with tape, it's because they broke the toe. Got it. it happens all <laughs> the fucking time. I just think with him, they tried the lidocaine. He's like, dude, I'm, I still can't move at 100. And his team was like, mm, just post it. Yeah. Just, just postpone it. It's How not the end of the world. How long will it take to, to heal that, do you think? Do you know? Um, I mean, yeah, it's tough. Is it six weeks? Like, but it's like pretty shattered, eh? You have to set it. Six to eight like weeks. It's, no, it looks like it's off. That. He should be all right with that. Yeah. And but again, you you tape it to the other one so it, it doesn't like heal right. outward. Right. So you tape it to the other four one. Four to six weeks. I've broken oh, okay. probably okay. four toes. Mm. And the, the, all, you go to the doctor; they just tape it to the other one. You wear yeah. sandals for a fucking six weeks. Right. So I would I, I would bet he fights in like October, November. Yeah. If you want to be super safe, you do it in December. You know, hopefully nothing happens again. But again, all these narratives—they're so much more fun than the truth. Mm -hmm. The truth is boring. Yeah. It's not fun. Yeah. Even Ch Chael dialed back on that. Mm. You know. I, I mean, I yeah, that looks like a tough break. If I'm Connor, I didn't post that. Mm. 
I go, yeah, I fucked up my leg training, the same leg that I broke. I'm going to postpone it. Mm. I think posting the broken it's just, pinky, yeah, it's people, so are like the pinky. Yeah, people are like, Ugh. but they, these people are like, Ugh, I've never fought in their yeah, life. But also, <laughs> and then like fighters me. who have fought with it before are like, what the fuck? Yeah. I think you should have just been super vague. Yep, fucked my leg up in training. Could I fight? Maybe. I don't want to push it. Uh, mm. We're fighting November. I, uh, he didn't owe anybody anything. I'm going to post this. No. Fuck off. I wouldn't have done any of that. Really? He didn't owe, owe anybody anything. It's Conor McGregor. Yeah. But I, th I think Dana's sick of his shit. If you notice, <laughs> Dana's like, they, they asked him at the post-fight press conference, like, when's this fight? He's like, I don't know. I don't, September, October, November, I don't fucking know. When he's ready, we'll, we'll let you know. Yeah. Like, he's just over it. Mm -hmm. That's how it goes. Even with Hamzad, he's like, ah, whatever. You know, if you keep missing and the UFC putting all this marketing money into it, eventually Dana's like, all right, moving on. So you think uh, they'll postpone this too? Do they have a date on this? No. no? Kind of, because we don't know, like with right. the toe, with his movement. I bet we'll, we'll get an announcement in like a month, month and a half. Let summer chill out. I'm excited. Still a great card, though. <laughs> no Connor, but still a great card. Yeah, it's an epic card. Fuck. I love yeah. Pereira's reaction. He's just on the phone. He's like, Ch Chama, no Chama. <laughs> He's just ready to go. Savage. He's so scared. I, at UFC 300, that was just his walk-ins, just the best. I was like, no, like I feel like what's well, one of the best walk-ins when he's like, he's like, ah, he I'm like, like what? he's made of stone. Yeah, his face, everything looks like he's, hard. He he would no be like foul. the leader of like a, a tribe yeah. back in the yeah. day, like just yeah. Ready everybody's to, a bitch. Everybody's a bitch. He's like the leader. Yeah. yeah, he's got like, and also to be that heavy, but that with so little fat, like just giant guy. Yeah, he has to be the scariest guy in the UFC. Probably he has to be Francis. It's him. Do you sure. think he'll think actually so? go to heavyweight? Yes. Does I, he beat I, Francis I, I, if he goes to heavyweight? Do you think? Uh, different story. And Francis in the UFC, so yeah. I don't know. But <laughs> with this. Um, I think his reward for again replacing and saving it because remember he saved 300. 300, yeah. 300 was a nightmare. They called him up, he's down short mm. notice. Saves this international fight week for those that are, you, this is massive. Yeah. For the UFC's for him taking those two weeks is massive, so he's helping out again. I think they're going to repay him by letting him be the first ever fighter to attempt to go for three belts. Mm -hmm. I think they're going to give him this thing to fight the winner of Blades and uh Aspinall. And was Prohaska was he preparing for a fight? I know that he just fought on no. He just fought 300, didn't yeah. he? And then he, but he won. But so he wasn't preparing either. So it's kind of like not because if, if it was like Prohaska was getting ready for another fight, then I'd be like, oh man, like that's gonna but be both hard. Short notice, yeah. That's that makes it that's fun. That's a good fight, yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, I think crazy. they'll reward Alex and then fight for heavyweight. It'll be for interim title because John Jones is the you know the legit champ, but still, still be a three time champ, different weight classes, yeah. first ever. Is Ortega has he he only fought that has he only fought that one time since being back? Yeah, and he just he aced. He looked so good, right? Yeah, he got in trouble early and then powered through it. And yeah, it, it's tough can't fight believe for him. he shaved his head. I think it's an outrage with that hair. Did he shave it again? I that, that last I saw, I, saw he, it. I don't think so. No, he I think it's back. He, yeah, it's that. Yeah, he hasn't shaved his head in a while. He's, he's, you know, it'd be outrage if Diego Lopez shaved his head. That'd be more of an outrage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know it's <laughs> good. You have that little emo look. Yeah, the flip. Yeah, you train with the Ortega. His jujitsu is just crazy stupid, right? Yeah, yeah. Savage. How does That's Pereira, fight, if you faced off, like, is Pereira the same height as you? I, he might be taller than me. Yeah. I'm 6'4. He has to be at least six. What is he? They, they might listen at 6'4, but listen is he taller than Izzy? Because Izzy's taller than me. 6'4. I bet he's a little taller than me. Yeah, because Izzy's taller than me. Because when Izzy jumped out of the van where we were shooting Food Truck Diaries. Yeah, he's tall as. I was like, what the fuck? He's like, dude, I'm too. Because remember, that, that's when he was going to fight same. Jones. I mean, that's. Oh, Pereira's higher? Tall? Yes. A little bit. Yeah, he's. Big uh, boys. His skull's, his skull's bigger. <laughs> that's about it. He's got a giant oh, no, his shoulder's a little higher, too. I thought his skull was just big. You know what? He's taller than uh, Izzy. Yeah, I'm telling you. 6'5, six, 6'5 wow. six, 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 and a half. They're fucking big, dude. Unbelievable. Yeah, but you should root for Alex to win this fight because if he wins, I bet they his desserts going to be fighting for heavyweight title and be the first ever. And we're never going to see it again. If you want legendary shit, a guy winning middleweight, light heavyweight, and heavyweight will never happen again. And he's the only guy who's going to have the opportunity. Mm. He's had who's Aspinall fighting? In Chris Blades. Oh, that's July. Oh, it's a rematch. Mm. Damn thoughts. Curtis is a motherfucker. Yeah, his wrestling great fight. Every time I hear these fighting, I expect him to just take. So, take the person down and elbow the crap out of him. Yeah. But then it hasn't happened a lot. He's though. like falls in love with his strike and it's getting better, mm. but his ground and pound's nasty. That card's great.
The, the best fight on that card, but uh, Brian Ortega, Diego Lopez is fucking tasty. Ian Gary versus Michael Page. That's the fight. Yep. That's the motherfucking fight. I'm going to that fight. <laughs> oh, you are? You going to be there? No, mate. I'll be uh, at X Games. X Games, dog. <laughs> I forgot. I'll be winning some medals. Winning golds, you'll man. Be winning yeah. some, you'll be winning some golds. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited about that Machado Gary, Michael Page fight. What do you, you oh. you're, you're going with Machado Gary on that. Oh, yeah. Swanson versus Feely. That's a sick one. I feel like they've fought Still 10 fight. times before. So. Really? <laughs> but they've never have. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. It's so weird. Joe Pfeiffer's great. He oh, should, he should be on the main card. Fight. Nice. Andre Arlovsky. Arlovsky's still doing the damn thing. Isn't that fucking wild? Wow. Ricky Simone's always great, too. Yeah, the whole card. I mean, it's International Fight Week. They always stack it. They have the UFC Expo around it. Like, it's great. I got another one. What about that Macy Barber versus Thug Rose? That's a crazy one i feel yeah, like and that's in denver yeah i feel like has macy like i, I think her fight was, was she at three, she was on 300 right oh no she was she was at 300 <laughs> sorry yeah. she had just had a fight recently but was it it wasn't against someone that's good as thug rose eh? uh, uh, no, Caitlin not, Trukagan. she changed, she changed her last name to the, uh, the yeah. husband's name but this is a uh, barber's last few fights macy oh. doing the damn thing a lot of decisions but still yeah, Macy's a savage. And th Thug, I, it's tough, you know? Mm. She was out for so long. Denver product, though. Hmm. Macy's a little beast, though. That's going to be a tough fight for Thug. Damn. Macy's tough, man. She's On fucking strong. Streak. What else you got, Jen? Let's take a little break, B, because O'Reilly Auto Parts. That's right, dude. They're in the business of keeping your car on the road. I use them all the time for my 20-year-old Ford Lightning or for my TRX. They have all the parts in stock. If not, they order it. shows up the next day. And O'Reilly Auto Parts offers friendly, helpful service and parts knowledge you'll need for all your maintenance and repairs, man. They've got thousands of parts and accessories in stock, in store, or online, so you never have to worry if you're in a jam. And the team at O'Reilly Auto Parts, they can't do it to your car, but they'll test your battery for free, in or out of your car, needs to be replaced, say less, they got you. Windshield wipers, they got you. Brake light fix, quick service. It's a one-stop for all things auto. Do it yourself, right? And That's you can right. find what you need in the store or online. That's right, man. That's bottom line. Stop at O'Reilly Auto Parts today. Visit O'ReillyAuto.com slash fighter. That's O'ReillyAuto.com slash fighter. Let's, let's check in with little Ryan Garcia this week, guys. So You know you went on stage with Chris? We, we're, yeah, we're going to get to that. So first he announced he was retiring, but then it came out that he only said that because he's going to be banned for a year for testing positive for PEDs. Then he ended up saying he'd like to go into UFC and even potentially said he'd like to fight Suga. And most recently, Chris D'Elia brought him up on stage and we have the clip. You know what bothers me? He tagged Ryan twice, Chris. <laughs> at King Ryan, at King Ryan. We got it. He, he said he's going to ride X Games too this weekend. Yeah. He's going to be at the X game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Taking on Ryan Williams. <laughs> we wanted to do stand-up for the first time ever. He's never done stand-up before in his life. Okay? And this is a world-famous person here. Welcome. World-famous person here? <laughs> <laughs> so he had jokes ready to go, B, but he forgot it. Uh. Stand-up's tough. Stand-up is not easy. It's you should just pulled some notes. Different right animal, Chris. kids. Different animal. He's probably nervous. Super nervous. And he's in shorts. Yeah. Ryan's <laughs> tall as shit. Double denim? Is that double denim? Tough. Dude, all right, listen. All right, so look. look this, is, this is hard. This is really fucking hard. Okay? This dude is a fighter. Chris trying to help him out. Huh? You have any tips for me? I said, yes, one. It's not going to go the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> right, Tim? It's tough. Especially, I wonder how much you prepared. Chris is great, though. Chris is wearing a collar shirt. I've never seen him in a collar shirt in my life. He looks ridiculous. No, yeah, I just woke up. And, uh, I was drunk already, and I woke up even more drunk. We were just at a poker tournament, right? Oh, yeah, I was playing with Neymar. Okay, you played with Neymar. 
Chris is trying to help him with the points. You love Neymar, right? <laughs> Okay, I have a question. You can stop I have it. A question. I was going to say, good retention on the video. Like You wait a long yeah. time yeah. for it, so yeah. it's going to get a lot of views. You just forgot to stop. The, uh, the first advice to give him, be sober. Well, I want to ask you, you gotta too. Be sober. You got you to know your shit. Yeah. What do you do? Like, I'm sure you guys have performed places where people show up and they're like, oh, I just want to come up there and do a spot. What do you say? Like, what position say, was Like, Chris everything in? else in life, like, everything else in life, I say to you, I want to be a piano player. Mm -hmm. And I was a really good piano player. Or I want to be, I want to get into, hey, I want to get into X games. And I would say I was 20. You look at me and go, cool, I'll see you and I'll see you out there. Mm. But I can't help you. You got to do that 1,000 times. It's like anything else. Like you got to, if you really want to be good at stand up, I, I, I'm not going to talk to you for at least five years. Yeah, but but, I, but, I, but weird, you let him go on your no, set. No, it's a weird question because Ryan Garcia is not pursuing stand up. Ryan Garcia is one of the most famous people on the planet right now. And it's a funny thing. Mm. So it's not like Chris is like, yeah, I guess you have stage time because you're gonna be doing this in the yeah. next ten years. No, Just it's yeah. like it's funny. It's, it's, water, a, it's a silly thing. Yeah, it's, yeah, that's all it is. It'll get views. You know, I'm sure Ryan just wanted. To, you know, he's fucking around. He's a good guy. He wanted. He's silly. He wanted to try it out. But Chris couldn't say no, right? No, he could say no. He Easy. so that's that was my real question. Like, could you be like, I don't want to? Oh do this. yeah. For I sure. bet, like, if you were there too, it would still be funny. You're in the mood to laugh. It's, like, still, it was, cool. it's still a good vibe. And I guarantee you, when Ryan got off, Chris destroyed that room. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's not like it was a bad show and Ryan's up there for an hour. I, how this video is maybe six minutes. I was six minutes. It's fun for the crowd. Mm. He's probably like, give Ryan a hand. He never goes on stage again. Like, that was a fun thing. Mm. That's it. He did it with the perfect person. It Chris. also depends on that person, too. Like, he was really good at telling stories. Mm -hmm. Brendan could tell a long story. You know, that's why what happened was Rogan goes, that guy's funny. And I was like, yeah, I know, dude. I don't hang out with him because of his big muscles. I mean, I do, well. but I don't. You know? <laughs> well. I mean, I'm half gay, but still, I don't. And I was like, I, we hang. He's funny. And then that's when, when we would do those live shows, we'd have like 1,200 people out there. And I would always pretend to be late. And he would go out. And I'd be like, just tell a story. Oh, yeah. Just fucking start telling a story. And that was that was stand up. Like he was telling stories, yeah. but he was a good storyteller. Yeah. And it was what he wanted to do. And he'd always he'd been doing it for a long time with people in bars. Mm -hmm. If you have that already, then we can talk. But I bet you he could do it. He could do Ryan Garcia could do a good job because he'd have stories and he has like enough popularity that if he made fun of himself a little bit, people would definitely laugh at it. Yeah. But it's just he's a special guy. I mean, I, I don't you know, I would never charisma, say not to. Yeah, if he yeah, if he had story if he talked Brave. about like steroids. He's like, I ate one Mexican taco. You know, like yeah. you talk about Canelo or something like <laughs> yeah. that. Oscar De La Hoya. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I get it. I look bad up here. I'm not Oscar De La Hoya bad. <laughs> yeah. You know, like yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. fans would have went nuts. Yes. And that would have gone so viral. Yeah. But Chris, again, but the problem is Chris is the perfect guy and the worst guy because Chris doesn't know shit about fighting. Like yeah. Ryan should have got up there and roasted Oscar De La Hoya. That would have yeah. gone so viral. Yeah. And there's so much material there. Good point. Mm. What else you got? Oh, we got a funny little clip with the 4th of July coming up. Let me turn the sound on. This one? Yeah. July. Here's like an actual customer out here. Uh, what's, uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? <laughs> Where are your parents? <laughs> Kid sketchy. Back to you guys. <laughs> Kid sketchy. Hey, Would you that, like to know, that weather planned? boy? Was that planned, do you think? Yeah. I don't know. That, yeah, a little I bit. I think it was. That had to have been, right? It was good acting, Let me see though. it again. That's that absolutely That guy seems like. pissed, though. Right here. Uh, what's, uh, what's the best kind of firework to buy? Wouldn't you like to know, weather boy? Where are your parents? <laughs> yeah, that kid. That's acting. It's probably his dad. The kid, the kid was really good at acting, though, because usually you'd, you'd sound a bit more it'd be, sound a bit more robotic. So it sounded pretty legit. I'm making a call right now. That's his son. You think? Yep. Look I don't it know if it, well, no, that'd be too easy to find out. He wouldn't use his son, right? <laughs> telling you right I now. I bet you that's not his son. Better I don't know how the fuck we'd figure that out and make the podcast screeching halt, but I think um, it'd be too. This is actually the Weather Boys' son. It was a skit they said. Ah, uh, oh, hey, yeah. Come on, boy. Come on. Good call. We're gonna believe that guy? No, that's that's what it is. I can see it. That's why I said. I mean, I that, I I can just see them setting that up. <laughs> yeah. All right, son. You want to be famous? Yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Because you had to take the fucking fun and I take the fun out of it, didn't you? But yeah, that's what it is. Sorry to piss on everybody's it went viral. It went, it went um, viral, though. You know, yeah. like it did what they wanted it to do. Yeah, you can just see, like we used to do this thing in acting school when, when uh, like you see something and you just go like this. You go, don't quite believe it. I don't know why. I don't quite believe it. This, 
That's why, like, the greatest actors, they don't look like they're acting. You know what? You know how you define a great actor? You believe them. Mm. No matter what they do, you always believe them no matter what. And sometimes, like, you'll see something and you'll be like, I, I just don't quite. It's like seeing, I'm sorry, but it's like seeing a, a, a man who used to be a woman. I mean, a woman who used to be a man. Mm. You could just go, my friend was on a date with a trans gender like man. a full full op yeah full bone yeah and and there was just something and i looked at my buddy and i go bro what's up man he goes i don't know i go do you think that's a was that used to be a guy and he's like i think it might be what gave I it away the size 13 shoe just a huge dick yeah <laughs> <laughs> what else you get chin but fire uh fireplace uh firework places are popping up like i drove to um where was i i was in uh fontana yesterday dropping off some car shit and there's a bunch of firework places popping up which I, they're illegal in la county mm -hmm. but outside you can get all sorts That's also in australia it's illegal is it oh illegal yeah you, you're you guys yeah, like australia's tough no man. god it's so no, bad. Bad. it's so gnarly like covid you guys were i couldn't believe i, I thought i COVID. thought we're sweet i thought we're a bunch of bogans mate we'll do anything like we're chilling and then COVID happened and I'm like, what's going on? Like, like, what's going worse on? than LA. And then everyone, they were locked down for three years. Yeah. Even in America, they're like, usually like confused. Like, well, I thought these guys were like, because we, we seem crazy. Yeah. Plus there's all this land. It's not like you guys are on top of each other. Yeah. So I was like, it was you guys were masked. And, and you had to like stay in a hotel for two weeks, like by yourself in confinement. And, and, if you and Dan, Dan Hooker and Izzy had to train like old school days, like underground. Yeah. It was illegal. So they couldn't like Crazy. tell people or post anything. How's the blowback been from that? Australians are like, yeah, it's all good or what? I'd lose my fucking mind. We just, we just like, we're pretty all, we're all like a tight knit group. So we just kind of all just do it. There's not like a left and a right. It's not like, we're not going to do it. We're doing it. It changed our political landscape. Yeah. And it changed everybody. In Australia, it's kind of like, we're all do it. We'll all just do it together because it's all for everyone. And yeah. then like, there's like 10% of people that were like, what are we doing? And then, but the, the mob, the, the large percentage was just like in for it. So it was like, everyone just did it. But yeah, Americans are yeah. not like that. They're not like not that. Not us. No. And then, and then you lose trust in the government. Now it's like people, the trust in government's out the it's window. Yeah, it's crazy. And people are like, they faked the moon landing. Like, okay. Well. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they start jumping all, yeah. everything's a lie. Yep. Yeah. And I'm one of those people. All right. What do you got, Jim? Well, Porch pirates are taking it to a new level, guys. This is video from a Sacramento house. And look at how this guy steals the package. In, in Sacramento, so <laughs> desperate to oh, steal wow. the package. They pretended to be a bag of trash. No, I cannot do this. Look at this right here. This is a Looney Tunes <laughs> fucking video. And it shows the person crouched underneath the <laughs> I mean, that's that's not <laughs> sketchy at all like i bet he was sweating his ass off in there. <laughs> that's like a, that, that's somebody who's not all there or it's a kid or he's a genius yeah because you, you can't get cold though that's the thing yeah that's the thing what are you gonna do <laughs> he's like the, this the, is either really stupid or really smart it depends yeah. if they got caught it's like that pac-man fucking thing from back in the 80s you guys are too young never mind you're talking about Pac-Man stuff? The ghost, right? Oh, the ghost. ghost. You're talking about like the ghost, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of, but... Fuck, <laughs> yeah. ah, dude. Get younger, bro. Damn it. What else you got? Damn it. Um, we got this one. So Justin Timberlake got a DUI, guys. Yeah. And uh, the part I find amazing is the cop who pulled him over didn't know who he was. Do you see he, the cop pulls him over and he's on the body cam and he goes, and Justin goes, ah, it's going to ruin my tour. And the, you know, the guy has no clue who he is. Some young guy he goes, what tour? And Justin goes, my world tour. He's like, get the fuck in the <laughs> tour. He has no really? Clue, yeah. yeah. And then people are mad at that guy now. They're like, yeah, they're like, <laughs> you didn't be know mean you. to the cop. Yeah, he's like, what? I'm doing my job, man. <laughs> That's always a pretty But then pretty Justin hit the stage like the next night and was looking pretty litty. Have you seen this? <laughs> yeah. Like the I, next day, he still made his like live show. You know, he's. I mean, the mugshot. Oh, really? he, he doesn't look sober well that makes sense it's yeah. a mug shot but the next day at the fucking live venue it's like hey hey, hey just get some up. safety shot or something sober the fuck up dude <laughs> yeah i know well i guess his tour wasn't selling as well that was a big thing oh i didn't hear that yeah his tour is not selling well might do better now yeah maybe i'd go see <laughs> jt yeah um yeah but it, it apparently was selling way under expectations who told you this, this is his solo tour it's the whole thing on the news mm -hmm. mm. do you ever have someone that's like a friend in there if something happens like you, you maybe you have to wait for a in a line at a nightclub or something and you, you have a friend they're like but this guy's this no dude and you're like you're like 
Oh. Yeah, please don't do that. They're like, yeah. this guy, this guy's in Nitro Circus. You should see how many followers he has. I'm like, oh, yeah, please do yeah. And then you just say, like, I'm just like, oh, man, just don't, uh, don't do that. Yeah, that's works. always so brutal when the person's like, no, I don't. <laughs> yeah, when I first got the UFC, my I buddies would do it. We'd be at a line in the club, and they're like, yo, UFC. The guy's like, what? <laughs> like, mm-mm, mm-mm. It just hurts your feelings. Yeah. yeah. Please don't Oof. do that. Trust me, if you knew who I was, we'd be in the club, man. Please well, don't do this. How about yeah. being in acting as long as I have? Do you know this guy? I never, never seen him. <laughs> all right, it's all good. Man. <laughs> or the worst one. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna fist myself in the corner. <laughs> okay. Or the worst one. So and where, where do I know you from? And then goes well, girlfriend. That's my whole then life. goes girlfriend. Babe, do you know this guy? And they're like, no. And you're just sitting there, like I, I, I don't know. Hey, what was cool? Like, yes, I was on the scooter with my nephew and a couple cars. You know, kind of said some stuff. And my nephew kept going. Do they? Do you know them? I was like, no. Nope. And he gets so excited. He's like. You know, that's kind of fun, but that's about the limit of my... But most of the time, it's like, do you fly this airline a lot? <sighs> no. Where do I know you from? Uh, you know, I'll, I'll have to explain to you my resume now. But you get recognized, don't you get, like, I mean... Yeah, here and there. Another awkward moment is when you get recognized and the person's, like, super... They're like, yeah, 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 get a photo. And you get a photo, and then there's, like, a bunch of other people around, and they're like, oh, the who worst. are you? And they're like, who are you? And then they're like, oh, sorry, I don't know who you are. And I'm like... <laughs> I don't know who you are either. Did I tell you? Or, or they go, okay, they'll be like, uh, can I get a phone you take? You're like, who, who are you? You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I got recognized. I got fucking very, very famous person. And we're, they were really talking to me a lot. And I was like, this is wild and this is really cool. And they were famous. And I was like, you, know, you kind of feel like maybe I've made it a little bit. And, and I'm not exaggerating about this. <laughs> I thought I was Joe Rogan. <laughs> were they blind <laughs> no but this was this was probably probably seven or eight years ago nine years ago but it was like they, he wasn't yeah. in the ecosystem yeah and so for whatever reason <laughs> i was like i'm not that that's not uh-huh. who you're talking to dude let's take a little break let's take a little break because it's june bro and what are we doing in june fishing, old man fishing at the end of june the three of us in here about to catch us some fish sportsman's cove lodge we're i going can't there. wait dude we're headed to alaska east alaska we're going to the sportsman's cove lodge dude five, five boats, boats six guests per boat very comfortable boats. we catching salmon heads. halibut yeah. maybe sharks maybe i'll catch a grizzly it's a i don't know one angler to crew ratio a one-to-one staff to guest ratio. The best food in the industry, all locally sourced. Facilities are the best in the industry. Go to alaskasbestlodge.com. Right now, they're running a sale, $800 off any June dates. All right, use the discount code TFATK at checkout for 10% off your first trip. They do a buy one, get one limit of one per person. It's very limited, all right, super limited. Check the end of June to early July, and then early July, mid-July, they got a bunch of dates for you guys, but it's going fast. Tony Hawk has a funny one. Tony Hawk they had one, he always talks about on podcasts, he always says like, someone that people always ask him, oh, they always say, you look like that Tony Hawk guy from the video game. Yeah. And he's always just like, yeah, I yeah, get that a lot. Oh god, oh god, you look like yeah, that Tony, Tony Hawk, Hawk guy. And when I was when I was with Tim Tebow a lot, I mean, you realize levels of fame, you know? Like, oh I, my god, like I probably took I don't know five thousand pictures of him and fans. Yeah, be like, oh, what's up? Like, how's it? There's going? like a level. Like, can you take our picture? I'm like, no doubt. Click. I got really good at it. I was just a camera holder. <laughs> there's like a level that's good. There's like a level that's cool because it kind of you find some opportunities, and then there's a level that's like bad. It's like uh, correct. I remember Hasbulla. He can't like go anywhere without just oh, he's God, done that's, nightmare. That's and being like because he's he just stands out from the crowd. So instantly like, like everyone's just like my him. thing. Imagine that girl, that Huck two girl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like imagine she's just some normal college girl doing her thing, and now she can't go anywhere. It's not like she has a set of skills or not. Everyone's like, oh, you're the girl but t- sucking dick, right? And like, that's your thing? Oh, uh, yeah. And you go from obscure to fucking, you can't yeah. go anywhere? Like, I don't she, think. She yeah. must be like, fuck. That'll man. go away. But if you're Adam Sandler or you're Rogan, mm. it's over. It's so crazy. It's beyond what people can imagine. It's like literally groups of people following you around. What, the chili, Malibu chili cook-off? I know you say that. It drives me. There's like, probably a lot of that. chicks that like, but look similar to her, though, and they probably get uh, hopefully, the same. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. But when true. you don't ask for it and it comes, like, yeah. fuck, dude. Because you probably feel a uh, weird, type, weird type of way because you have no skill. You know, it's not yeah. like you've earned it and you're just famous for a reference to sucking dick. That'll go away. When you got your dad, yeah. like you're out at the dinner with your dad, yeah. you're the you're the Hawk 2 girl, right? And she's all, mm, I'm with my dad. I got a tattoo. Yeah. 
I brought the <laughs> I brought the shirt. You know, it's like the dad's like, "What's happening?" Let me sign this. Imagine if the dad doesn't know. He's like, "Why are all these people coming to you?" Like, yeah, I went viral for what? And watches the video. He's like, "Motherfucker, <laughs> that's what you're doing with Jeff at night." You know? God. What else you got, Jen? Uh, Any ones? Yeah, we got another one. Woody Harrelson, guys, apparently has not had a cell phone in three years. God bless. Yeah, him. I don't know. I saw this. I don't know if I believe it. I he believe says it. He only yeah. used it to text. I believe it. Yeah. I'd be the exact same. If I make a certain amount of money, you know I've made it because you won't be able to get a hold of me. Yep. Yeah. Ted Danson apparently called him out on a podcast recently about it. Hmm. I don't know. Could you, I mean, could you, how do you not have a phone though? It'd, it'd be, be so it'd nice. It'd be so nice. Mm. It'd be so nice. It'd be so nice to well, you're not fuck uh, connect your phone. You know how much time you waste on your fucking I phone? I'm old and I have to do this. I catch mine on TikTok. Shut right? up. You know? Don't tell anybody. It's like, <laughs> you know how much of a waste of a time? Like, and, but everyone's everyone succumbs to it. It's just there. Oh You're God. clicking. There's so much info. It's like yeah. what the fuck. I feel like the gnarliest thing is like the iPad kids. They're like wild. They're just like on the iPad twenty four seven. That's oh, like, that's gnarly. Bad it's, parenting because it's easy if you're at mm-hmm. dinner. Just give the kid an iPad because they mm-hmm. shut the fuck up and oh. you don't have to worry about them. But it, the 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 real parents that know the hell no. That thing is mm-hmm. fucking. That's crap. Yeah. Yeah. Go to the. Uh, let's end on Matt Matthew Stafford's wife. Oh yeah. This is. Insane to me. This is a great one, guys. Have so, you seen this? <laughs> no. This, this is what this is where like you know, she's on a podcast and she just I, I and I feel bad for her because she's on a podcast she's talking to her, f- her friend. The friend she's like, yeah. So me and Matthew we broke up and then to make him jealous, I started fucking the the backup quarterback and it made him really jealous. And then uh, he she saw, didn't realize how and there were roommates and that she doesn't know. She didn't know the way it works. She goes and they're roommates. And then Matthew was like, never again. And then, you know, we have kids and you're like, oh, you have no idea what you just did to your, oh. to your husband. Yeah. Like now he has to go in the locker room. Not and like, this time. is the narrative now. Oh, wow. Let me see. Yeah. That's his wife. Yeah. Gorgeous, yeah. She said, long story short, it wasn't that cute of a relationship at first. I hated him. I loved him. I dated the backup to piss him off, which worked. All right. She's just on a podcast. She goes into it on the podcast. That's a summary. Yeah. She's just talking. Yeah, what are you doing, though? I agree. What the fuck are you doing? I agree. I, they live in the uh, same dorm because athletes live in the same dorms. He would see my car there, you know. He would see my car there getting fucked. At one point, he waited and followed me to my car. And he wouldn't get out. He was like, he's not right for you. I was like, you can tell me that. Get the fuck out of my car. Uh, meanwhile, he's dating like 12, 10 supermodels. Yeah, but you know what? Fuck it. They're married now. They made it work. Who cares? Water under the bridge. I, my Bravo. thing is, though, th- th- there can only be one podcaster in the house. There can only be one headshot for this exact reason. Mm. Like you have any I'm right with you on that. Any idea? Like your husband's like, hey, what the fuck? Yeah. And then the kids, and then now this is When two people viral. want to be famous or two people are looking yeah. for that, the two people are, are vying for that, there's no room. Nothing drove me more nuts than Steph Curry's wife. The fuck? What did she do? Oh, dude, she was like, it's so annoying because, you know, Steph gets all the attention, you know. Hey, <laughs> hey, you don't, <laughs> what? You're like, you're yeah. about to a shooter of all, all the- y- Yeah. Well, you take pictures in yoga pants. He's the greatest shooter of all fucking time, lady. Is that what yes. she said? Yeah. Oh, no. It's yeah, wild, man. Tough. Or how about Jada Pinkett, Will Smith? Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, the guy from Fresh Prince, and you can do a red table talk? And talk about your fucking other guys? and Or, or talking about Tupac? Is that all the time, like, crying on, that, his, that's fucking, on his birthday? Like, hey, how much attention do you need? Yeah. But with her, it's like, man, you got kids involved in it. It's like, what are you doing? You know what, though? At the, at the, at the end of the day, I always say, though, they've still made it work. Like, Jada Pinkett Smith, say what you want, and Will Smith still together, still doing it. You know, that's a big accomplishment. Oh, I disagree. Really? I think it's an absolute fucking firestorm in their house and they're miserable. Yeah, maybe, but they're still together. They're still making it work. Oh, that's a love shit. No, the, to the public, they're still together. I don't know. They're, I, they're still not divorced. Yeah. Right? I guess that's a win. It is. Uh, see, I don't think it's a win being miserable. I mean, I, listen, hey, I, hold I'm on. Not, hold I, 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 I don't with think you it's on a her. win. I, I don't think it's a her. win when you stay with someone. And you're miserable, and you're not divorced. Like it'd be a better win if they just went their separate fucking ways. Like if, like if, if, if you're in a marriage where your wife goes, "Hey, I'm gonna start fucking this young guy and bring him on our family vacations," it's over. See ya. So, but when you, you say, your but when you mind. say, at least they're still together. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah, that's brutal. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying that whatever the case is, they could they could go off and they have plenty of money, they have plenty of options, but they're together still, so something's there. There's still glue there. What do you think? Why are you Why are you doing that? Because you know something I don't know. I I, I think it's insane. Yeah, 
Well, like I, you I, and I, it is. Like I, like right? I, but, like, but even for them, like it ruined his fucking life. Like even before he slapped Chris Rock, yeah. like he was the butt of every single joke yeah. for being a cock. Well, listen, you're right. You because she's she's airing their fucking life out on because she has red no respect table. for him. I'd lose so that. imagine that's on camera. Hey, you see? Ya. Yeah, but be thinking about that's on camera. Go crazy. That's true. So you think when the camera's down, you think she gets super friendly and she's making him dinner? How about Ben Affleck with, with Jennifer Lopez walking? You see that big, he's just walking like, he, he looks like he's been, he literally looks like somebody. <laughs> went through training camp. Yes. Yeah, like they. Or he just went through like fight they, camp. Like, you don't know, in Game of Thrones, when he walks through that thing, like, for shame, and they're throwing shit at him yeah. and stuff like that. That's what he looked like. He just came out of that and he's just like. <laughs> he's exhausted. There it is. Some people will break you. That's it. <laughs> It. Dude, I mean, Ryan, you're the best. Ryan didn't get a word in like last. <laughs> <time. laughs> yeah, I was just listening we're to chatty. We're chatty, we're chatty Kathy's, dude. But good what luck it? this weekend, yeah, bro. You're gonna kill it, man. You, Thank you. Yeah, you know, I'm excited. I got three events, so I'm doing dirt, dirt best trick, and park best trick, and I did all right last year, so we'll give it another rip. So wait, dirt best trick? Dirt what? best trick is so it's just one one trick on any jump, and it's just like the biggest trick you could possibly do. But you only get like five attempts at it. And then dirt, it's like there's I think about four or five jumps in a row and you just do your best tricks but they all calculate to one score. And then park best tricks just on the park like what they have at the Olympics but it's just one trick instead Jeez. of- What's the, the trick? <laughs> when, is it, when is it gonna air? Oh, yeah, you okay. can't tell the oh, I'm competition, sorry, you're, bro. Oh, you're, you're gonna, it's not like this is the trick you have to do. You are the one who does it and then that's how no, no, no. I'll do it. Like, if I tell you my trick, then people might see, and then that won't be a surprise. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. I thought there was a, th like, there was a, a move you had to hit. Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. So no, it's, it's not it's like, see, what is that dance star? No, it's yeah, not like yeah, a video yeah, game. I want to apologize for Brian. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, he thought you were on a Harley Davidson. Yeah, for the I, knew, longest I knew time. he was on. I knew He's he was like, "Oh, it's a time. small motorbike." I'm like, so tell us all your tricks. Yeah, well, no, you're so you were so high. That I'm like, "Fuck!" All right, anyway. It's all right. I get it, dude. Uh, but you're it, like he, he's like the one that, the person that comes up after you've yeah, taken a photo yeah. what do you do? I don't know where do I know you from <laughs> where do I know you from I actually don't know you yeah, so I, cool if I get a picture though you're on the uh, the bike motorbike right, right? Yeah, motorbike right <laughs> You're on, you're the, on the jet skis, correct? And you were like close, close. Yeah, that's it. Close. I'm out. It's all good. Um, but yeah, we'll be rooting for you, brother. And Appreciate we, it. And we, is uh, ESPN going to air it still? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be on ESPN. And then if you're overseas, it's on YouTube. I'm pretty sure. So We're rooting for you, brother. We've wanted you on here for a while, man. I know. I'm, I'm pumped. Best, Starting to get on here. And like, congratulations on doing a thousand episodes. Thanks, Thanks, I don't know what, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it, it, brother. Killing keep, it. Keep, keep crushing it, brother. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Great. Oh, yeah. Um, San Antonio. Uh, LOL Comedy Club. I'll be there July 12, 13, 14. And then we'll be uh, Thursday. You're still getting a podcast because me and the crew are headed to Alaska. But we'll do a podcast from Alaska for you guys. So that'll be available on Thursday. And then, yeah, that's it. Oh, the giveaway truck goes live July 8th. You go to Drive Fast All Gas to win that badass uh, F-150 Roush pre-runner. So go check it out. Drive Fast All Gas. Thank you, brother. Good luck this weekend. Thanks, Love you guys. Appreciate it.